<laughs> that's right. That's I'm that's I thought you was retired already. <laughs> Dirt Nut Dave looks 45 or 50. All them, years of, all them years of hard living. <laughs> Lots of it. It's all that meth. <laughs> no, you, I, ne- I never did meth. No meth. Well, not, I not I've seen torn. before. <laughs> Do what? I knew I'd see you before. No matter. Oh, then Jim Town. <laughs> Passing through, hitting the lock button on my fucking car. <laughs> Shit. I don't stop in Jim Town. Are you crazy? I I not even. It's a rolling stop, even at a red light. <laughs> they don't even have solid red lights in Jim Town. They just flash. Like, I wouldn't advise you. <laughs> And it is Sunday, February 18th, 2018. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the Bulldog on Chain Podcast. I am your host, the King of Village Bulldog Malenko. And with me, as always, Dirtnap Dave. Hello. Nubsy Slow. Ciao, boy, boy. And making his valiant return, <laughs> we got 2.0. Torin. 2.0. For, yeah. To, Torin 2.0. From What's Wrong With You, Man? What's Wrong With You, Man? Ooh, I ain't done nothing with that in a long time. <laughs> really? Get back yeah. on it, man. It's time to get it rolling. Mm-hmm. I've just been working hard, man. But tired of myself focused on something else for a moment to put money in my pocket. I got you. You yeah. still doing comedy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get... They wrote me a new little setup. You know, as a single comedian, wrote me a little setup. I'm trying to get it started and rolling and practice it, get it right. Uh, That's got a lot of, move. A lot of new things that happened to me. Getting really, that timing down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Mm. 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 What's been going on with you, Dirt Nap? Oh, you know, everything. Living <laughs> life. squirt. <laughs> Do squirt, do squirt days, you know. Do squirt days. Just, just, just spreading, just spreading love and positivity yeah, out all over the place. That's my favorite one. Do squirt. You know, it's okay. So it's funny it's you say that. I don't day. know if you saw my post on Facebook earlier this week, but nah, I stopped following you. No, I'm just probably. <laughs> I mean, hey, you no. know, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whatever. No, 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 uh, no, I follow you for sure. I made a post one? just because. You know, obviously, we've got the school shooting, the Parkland down in Florida, yeah. and mm. there's just, uh, I'm trying to stay positive, like stay out of the negativity of it. However, I will always point to the virtue signaling and moral grandstanding crowd that every time any kind of tragedy happens, it's like Anthony Jeselnik said, he's like, thoughts and prayers. Thought my thoughts and prayers are with you. And he goes, it, it doesn't mean anything. At the end of the day, what you're really doing is you're saying, hey, don't forget about me. <laughs> I'm here too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't forget about me. That's all it is. It's, and I, I was about to unleash just a shitstorm tirade on Facebook. And instead, I was like, no. And I, I completely erased everything that I had typed out and wrote something new. And the basis of that one was perhaps the conversation <laughs> we should be having is how we can be kinder to each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what needs to be talked about mm-hmm. and discussed. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to say this. I, I've, I've talked about it, you know, before, but the whole Columbine thing, when that happened, April 20th, 1999, that not... It didn't surprise me at all because that shit almost happened in Mount Carmel, Illinois in March of 1996. Okay. By me. <laughs> okay. I had firearms. I had ammo. I had a plan. I had targets. And then, oh, I, look, man, you, you laugh, but it was, you got to realize at that point in life, I was so fucking low right and honestly my my plan was just the same as most of theirs i was gonna go in and basically i had hit the point where i was gonna kill myself and i figured no you know what there's some assholes that don't deserve to live past me Mm -hmm. and so i was gonna take them out but i didn't the only reason i didn't is because the same reason that I got myself sober from my drug problem in high school <clears throat> was the thought of how ashamed would my grandfather be of me. 
like just holy shit. See, like, there's purpose right there. You yeah. find purpose, and you can. All you need is one good reason. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. there it is. But oh, man. I understand the whole like. <clears throat> I see all over Facebook. I, I'm friends with people who have kids that are in middle school, high school, and I've seen several of them talk about their kids get bullied at school, mm-hmm. and things get said to the teachers, things get said to the principals, to the whole administration, and nobody does a fucking thing about it. Well, in today's society, it's not like even I didn't have to go through what kids today go through. Mm -hmm. Because when I went home, at least I was home and away from it. Now, kids go home and they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, you know, they're on Twitter. It's social media. And say what you want about it, Social media is the way of the world now. Oh, Whether yeah. you like it or not, yeah. it, that discussion is over, and it's yeah. been over since about 2008. It's done. Yeah, Your online yeah, reputation yeah. is concrete, yeah. too. It's solid. Yes. Yeah. The words are there, and you that can look foot, them over and over and over That and over. footprint is there, and yeah. that can now affect college applications, job applications, yeah. all kinds of shit. Dude, they can go get people on reasonable suspicion for things that they posted online. That shit mm-hmm. just happened this week here in Evansville. That Central High School student said he was going to shoot up. He made a fake profile name, said he was going to shoot up in Evansville High School. Now his ass is sitting, waiting for a <laughs> Waiting to see the date. judge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he, the kid even admitted, he goes, I made a fake profile to do it because he wanted Friday. He wanted school Friday to be canceled. And he couldn't miss any more days otherwise he would uh he would get face truancy officer yeah. <laughs> which i mean oh, that's that's like, terrible. i get yeah. it i get it i'm Kids like dumb. i don't get dumb. it <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah, think yeah. about it think about it you know how many man hours how much tax paying how many taxpayer dollars that wasted you know that, oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah. that kid but needs again, yeah that's the but and they, i hope that yeah. they hold him accountable for it exactly you know, yeah. i hope he works his but, he has to work his ass off in the summertime and doing fucking right. community service and, and that's what needs the that's what highway. needs to happen that and, yeah. and the other thing that needs to happen though here's the flip side of that yes of course he needs to be punished but someone needs to become a mentor for this kid. So this kid right obviously way. needs leadership in his life. Yep. He needs someone to show him a different path, a proper path. And that's a big problem with a lot of these kids that you see. Eventually, they hit a point of, you're not going to fuck with me anymore. Mm-hmm. And now, like I said, you know, when we were in school, you went home, that shit was done until the next day. If it was the weekend, you got a three-day reprieve to cool the fuck yeah, off. Yeah, but Columbine, Columbine was years before fucking social media, above. Those kids had finally hit... And you got to realize, there was one that was it almost was, as bad a couple... Uh, in 97? Okay. 98? In Jonesboro? No. that Well, that kid, uh, he was like 13 or 14. In Jonesboro, Arkansas. Yeah, maybe. About? He was honor roll student, all that shit. And he went in and he was tired of people's shit dude yeah, so everybody has a breaking point yeah. everybody i don't care what anybody says you can say oh i'd never take another human and life that's bullshit. Why, yeah. that's yeah, why you do. Mm-hmm. put and you in the right, right situation yeah and that's why people <laughs> yep. well that's why c- civilians shouldn't have access to uh multi-round burst no firearms. That's, I, I don't i don't agree with that at all look for every one mm-hmm. person that does something like this how many hundreds to thousands of people own the same fucking gun and would never fucking do that? Yeah, you, 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 you don't give up liberties for security. <laughs> Thomas yeah. Jefferson, I believe, said that. He goes, if you give up liberties in favor of security, you deserve neither liberty what, okay, nor so, security. So, okay, so, okay, what security does an AR-15 provide that a shotgun doesn't? And what security actually, does I, that actually provide I, unless, I had, you're, I holding had this, the, unless hold you're holding the weapon and pointing it at the person? I had this discussion with Danielle the other day. I was like, look, we'll just say for argument's sake that I was going to go do a mass shooting in a public place. The last thing I want is a rifle that is this goddamn long when I can have a sawed-off shotgun that is going to hold five rounds. And if I've got buckshot in there, I'm going to hit way more than one person at a time, mm-hmm. okay. especially from a sawed off. I can cause okay. a it hell of a lot more area, damage. But you're yeah. not going to be able to rain down 400 rounds in, a, in under a minute. 
Well, you're not doing that with a 30 round AR-15 that you go buy at Dick's Sporting Goods. You're not doing that. But you can uh, still, you still. What type of firing rate does an AR-15 have, though? You can still fire. That's still boom. Okay, 30. The same 30, as bam, bam, the same bam, as my bam, XDM four, five, 40 six, seven, that's eight, sitting nine, right next ten. to my bed. That's three. That that's, I can that's reload right quicker. There. That's that's ten right there. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's sixty. That's sixty rounds in less than fifty seconds. Fifteen, fifteen, twenty seconds. You could fire that off, and sure, it's going to be. And then you dump and grab another one and do yeah. that. So you can get okay. So we'll say two hundred and forty rounds instead of four hundred rounds. I'm sorry for using such a <laughs> such an a, 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 such an exponentially higher number. That that. But you also have to you have to account fire it down into a crowd you have to of account. people. Even an average an average AR that you go buy at a store uh-huh. or anything, just a regular semi that uh-huh. is non-military grade, you fire that many rounds in that short of a time, mm-hmm. the heat is going to expand yeah. the barrel, okay. and it's going to expand the breech, and, and you're going you to get one. jams. And you're, I and mean, that's it's just if you have one, but if you've got an arsenal... An, an you're talking about the Vegas dude, I'm, I'm man. I, just, that's, one, that's one example of it. That is, that's what the And that's all we have. That's, we that's only one have one example of that. One possibility that people are able to do. Why? Why give people that type of that? And the false so sense of security why? that you get from having that type of weapon, unless you are so, holding so the weapon. Why do we still sell? Ask, why do we still? Why sure. do we still sell alcohol? Uh, why do we still sell alcohol? Because I need yeah. a job. Yeah. Can I ask you this? <laughs> <laughs> because but, because people get intoxicated with it. Say say we have all these right, laws. and then they and then they say kill we have all these laws. No one can have weapons. No one has weapons. What to say that same motherfucker who had all those weapons don't have, still find a way and find access to all those weapons? Now none of us are protected. But him exactly has those weapons. Exactly. I mean, exactly. yeah, look at it that way. Gun laws, <clears throat> gun laws, those and laws, regulations. Guarantee only, you they didn't pick up those hey, those weapons. Okay, so, how did how did, so the, how did the cartel? So what, how many do you need to okay to in order to take out a person with a weapon that can fire? 400 rounds or 240 rounds in a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> 240 rounds in a minute. Um, how how many bullets does it take to take out that one person? Uh, you know what? If he's I don't know. Me, if he 50, has the 50 Cent got shot me, nine fucking times and one, didn't die. One or three, <laughs> two in the chest and one in the head. That's a lot. No. Yeah. 50 Cent got shot twice in the head. <laughs> yeah, in the face. And seven times in the fucking body and yeah, didn't die. In the fucking okay. face. He's still living. Okay. Made money. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you leave your security to chance? My security. Okay, it's a false. In any way, that's a false sense of security. Everything's a false sense of security. You're exactly right. <laughs> but You're exactly right. I would. I would rather have an advantage <laughs> in my ad- security. What advantage is having home? Is having an AR-15 as opposed to a 12 gauge in a short range situation? That's a short range situation. Okay. What do you need? What do you need to? Okay. How is your security being threatened from a long range situation? You, know, uh, you got Al-Qaeda. somebody looking to snipe you. You um, got some night vision goggles to find them or what what's going i don't know on? let's ask some people from the university of texas from this in the 70s when charles whitman was on top of a tower sniping <laughs> motherfuckers what about virginia Tech? i bet somebody I, yes. yeah right i bet somebody wishes that there had been someone armed with an equal fucking firepower source a rock to <laughs> <laughs> no seriously uh-huh. let people talk about the school thing why are there not armed guards look we yeah. won't we won't put the budget in for education, but we have a defense budget that gets black budgeted, black budgeted, black budgeted, multiple billions of dollars get funneled in. Mm-hmm. Why don't you put into that defense budget you really every hear single about- school, every single school? For every exit and for and for us and for an armed guard, I'm not saying don't I'm not saying take away AR-15s, but for uh, for somebody that's with the military. All day, giving them an AR-15 for sure. But here's yep. the problem. Yep, somebody that's trained to to train to have it and 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 passes. Do you know passes do, background why, checks and why checks does the second education. why does the Second Amendment exist? Why does the Second Amendment exist? Yes, uh, because because Britain wanted to outlaw citizens owning firearms. Right. Okay. What happens when a government eliminates their civilians' capability to match their firepower? Which our government <laughs> did long ago. Uh, yeah. What happens? What, okay, so we all need nukes now? What happens? I want my own one. First of all, I'm going to tell you right now, they're not going to nuke on their own soil. Okay. They're not going to. That's, okay. That's not going to. Okay. Oh, they don't, the even whole, the to, whole they nuke. don't even need to leave a room that's this size and they can take out this whole town. Sure. 
Yeah. But I'm saying from a fucking you're not going to nuke your own soil. In my opinion, now nukes. Nukes are just that's okay. that's a so dick that's, that's a dick yeah. swinging. Well, they game. got that's drones. They got whatever. They, if they needed, if they wanted to take you out, bro, they'd get you. And that's what I'm saying. They well, that's just, they that's may, the false they sense may, of security. No, of, of they home may get me. Anyway. But they're not going to get 110 million armed Americans. Uh-huh. You're not. Uh-huh. Because okay. eventually, once a, I'm going to tell you, you right now, a, you hit 50,000 armed Americans, uh-huh. you take them out, uh-huh. the rest of what? those 100 and now 9 what, million. What, nine are million hundred, not, what are 110 million Americans unified on right now? Name me a group of 110 <laughs> yeah, boy, million Americans that like anything. Let it be a government Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> let it let it be a government that's Netflix. that's exterminating yeah, their people, Netflix. and you will see uh, what happens. Uh, you've seen it in cunt in shithole countries. What do you mean? I'll say it. Shithole countries mm-hmm. exterminating you, their people. Fentanyl, fentanyl laced heroin. Yeah, if you do heroin, cool. Yeah, well, that's, uh, no. that's right on. Heroin's what bad. happened? That there's a whole bunch of stuff. The fucking government. Uh, yeah. Oliver North. What did we do then? When we found out our government's <laughs> doing treason and shit, the fucking news cycle continued. You know why? There's 16 people getting indicted during the Russia is, thing right now. Nobody is, gives a fuck. This is so easy. Because there's a school shooting that's going on right e- now. No, that's it's easy. Do you know yeah. why? Because everybody still has their comfort. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's my, just when it. I hit my air conditioning button, it still works. So That's just cares? it. Hey, when Hitler <laughs> when, when Hitler instituted the na- the National Socialist Party in 1938 in Germany, 1939 they began the weapons roundup. It was made illegal for any civilian to own a firearm. Everyone still had their comforts. Everyone was doing great. And then you fast forward two years. Now all the comforts are taken away, and you've got no way to fucking fight back. And look what happened. World War Two. No, just fuck World War Two. Look what happened to Germany. Oh, I don't know. Mm. What happened? Look, nobody could do anything. What? So I'm just taking. You're, just, you're I'm laughing. Not saying take away. I'm not saying take away all firearms. I'm just glasses. saying really civilians shouldn't buy AR-15s. Why? They are automatic weapons. No, they're. They, they serve so no is purpose. my fucking pistol. They serve no purpose. Some if you're call, if you're calling an AR-15 an automatic weapon, so is my <sighs> XDM-40. Okay. Semi-automatic. It's as fast as you can pull the trigger. Uh-huh. That's semi-auto. And you can. You can. And it's, you know how. You know how. You, you, how hard would it? To, how hard would to it get be a bump to, stock? To, exactly. And that's not fully it, automatic. Yeah. It is still semi-auto okay. because the chamber has to open and close, okay. and your accuracy with that goes way the fuck down. Okay. I mean, it's it's just a differing opinion. Man. Right. I, I, I mean, that, I get that, but I'm just saying. People should. I mean, rounds take the care of the deer. That's what I'm saying. I, yeah, I'm all for hunting <laughs> rifles. I'm all for shotguns. Yeah. I'm all you for know, muzzle loaders. I'm all for handguns. I'm all, for, I'm all for that kind of Dude, stuff. But, I can go. I can like go. Those yeah. types of, those I can go get a rifle. You know what? I can go get a rifle that shoots the same two twenty three Remington or five five six Natos that doesn't look scary like an AR fifteen, and I can do just as much damage with it because I can get that thirty round clip that doesn't look like the thirty round mag for an AR fifteen. Banana clip. It's not scary. It's not scary. Like. That right behind you. And what that's purpose, a twenty-two. I'm just but, asking, what purpose does it serve? That's a firearm that I want to own. Okay. Other than other than for me, it's sport shooting. Okay. I wouldn't uh, even go hunt. With other than for fun. fun, right? Okay. So why if not go to a range bro- and fire bro- one? Why not just go to a range and keep one at a range and fi- go to a range? Why and wouldn't fire I want my like, own? Oh, no, you, why don't you have your own roller coaster? Why don't you have your own? Because I can't afford one. Okay. Exactly. Wait, why yeah. should you have? But, I mean, pretty much. You just no. Yeah. That, that's a bad coaster. example. Yeah. Why don't I own a roller cup? I, yeah. I can't afford one. Everybody wants to go to a place and enjoy it. If I can afford one, you go to a place that you can enjoy it. You go to a place that you enjoy. You have a motherfucking you go, beast from Ohio. Yeah, you don't need to. You don't need to have. A, you don't need to have Jeez a weapon like that. That's just how I feel about New it. New name for the screaming tour. Yeah. Yes. I'm all for. I'm all for. I'm all for home defense. I'm all for the shotguns. I'm all for you know if you want a rifle if that makes you feel better, handgun if that makes you feel better to protect your. The funny thing is, you're more likely, someone is more likely to die. Granted, yes, <laughs> an AR-15 gives you range. Yeah, sure, gives you range. But the thing is, if I shoot you, okay, here, here's a question. If we are 100, 100 yards, if I shoot you with the AR-15 or my Springfield XDM-40, which is more likely to kill you? 
What is it, what do you need to what are you going to be in a battle with somebody from 100 I'm, yards away? I'm just giving you an example. Cuz if we go close quarters, if we go close quarters, this shatters the argument against the AR15 even more. What are you doing? What are you doing in that situation though where you're so mad at somebody that's a football field away from you that you're firing <laughs> your weapon at them? I don't know, ask people that live in places like Oakland, California where people shoot at your fucking house from down the street. Yeah. No. Okay. You think that they would like to have something to defend themselves with? Okay. What are you doing there? What about Oakland, Indiana? What, what do you, you mean? Doing? What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Why are you firing at That's people? That's where you live at, motherfucker. Okay. Right. Dude, right. I live two blocks away from a war zone. Okay. It, it happens all the fucking time. There, yeah. are sh- there are shootings that happen over here all the fucking time, and it's random motherfuckers getting uh-huh. shot. That dude okay, rolled so, down Pollock so, Avenue and shot that lady well, okay. in the back of the head from his window all for right, no so reason. Random. So randomly. So were you going to just happen? sit up and just sit That's in the window and wait? 24 hours a day. <laughs> no, I think, uh, no. Be prepared honestly, so you're there. Honestly, you're ready to go. I think, I. this is my feeling. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I think that every American citizen, no matter what city or state that you live in, should have the option to open carry firearms. Because if you open carry, people mind their fucking manners a hell of a lot more. No when, I lived in, when I lived in Nevada, Nevada is an open carry state. The only places you cannot take it is a federal building, any place that serves alcohol or a school, that's it. You can open carry. And when I say open carry, if you want to walk down the street with an AR-15 strapped on your back, you may get questions. But if they find out that you legally own it, it's yours. They mm-hmm. can't stop you. They can't okay. do anything. Right. And here's the thing. If you have some bad intentions, say that someone wants to go into the mall and shoot up the mall. If you've got those bad intentions, but you walk in and you see... Oh, there's Sally suck a lot and her three little bitch ass kids, but she's packing. You can see it. It's on her. And then you look around, you're in the food court. And every fucking body in there almost is carrying. Also, you're going to reconsider what you came there to do. <laughs> you don't think so? Oh. What are you going to, your intention? I'm not that, that I'm not, I'm, just, I'm not in that person. Well, shoes. step into those shoes. You look, your, your intention is to go and cause as much harm as possible. Mm-hmm. When you realize, oh shit, I'm only going to shoot one person and then I'm going to get gunned down in a hail of bullets coming from every mm-hmm. fucking direction. Mm-hmm. Because, the, An because armed, logic and reason are behind motivation where, when people go and kill mass crowds of folk. That's not t- the- <laughs> hey, visual deterrent is still deterrent. You notice Vegas the- happened. Ve- the, the Vegas shooting happened and all those people that's open carry there and still fucking people... C- I still have... I still How have feelings. I still have feelings about that. That's... Oh, that one's a, that's a bad example. He was in a concert. He, shot. he wasn't at a concert. He was in a hotel room yeah. and managed okay. to bring in how many firearms? 12? Yeah. The motherfuckers didn't say nothing? Like, crazy. People bring cases in, in oh, yeah, Vegas yeah, they hotel do. rooms all the time. But Big ass cases. So that's Vegas, man. There's all kinds of yeah. shit could be wrapped it's around easy. there. Yeah. <laughs> you could, you could be but a bazooka, that is a Vegas. bazooka, man. Is, Bazookas aren't even that big. There's eight million scenarios no. that we yeah. watch on TV. Fucking like an AT four twenty, dude. They're they're fucking. They're like fifteen pounds. They're not big at all, and they cause a fuck ton of damage. Right. That shit'll clear a room. And the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, is, is if you're a civilian, you can't really get one of those easily. But if you're a part of a cartel. Our government will give them to you. Uh huh. Depends on it. Depends on what what country you're from and which gang you belong to. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Mexico. And see, that's that's what I'm saying. That doesn't even make sense. That, that is, oh, dude, that's, that's not logical hold whatsoever. Hold no, on, it's hold not. on. Oh, no. The cartel, the cartel wars happening in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Do you know who provided them the weapons? We help out a lot. The yeah. United, the FBI, the D or the ATF. And the CIA oh. provided them. No, they were provided military Mattel. grade weapons from our government. Mattel. Wow. Mattel. Mattel. Mattel makes fucking rifles, dude. The people who make fucking like uh, the bullshit. toy company, Mattel. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What? what? Who makes that John Cena dude. action figure? Makes an AK forty-seven. <laughs> the M16s, dude. Our M16s. So toy companies are on. The That's crazy. No yeah. bullshit. Oh, no. To have the little start like the. <laughs> That'd be cool shit. Start. It's it's Mattel, it was a Mattel company. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mattel. That's a new slogan. <laughs> but no, like, 
I'm pretty sure. Or Tonka. You know, there's an old... <laughs> Tonka <laughs> Tonka. Tonka Tonka. 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 That'd be kind of cool. That's where they get that name from. <laughs> right, right, right. Tonka. Dude, it's... It, really, though, there's an old saying. <clears throat> an armed society is a polite society. Yeah. That's true. It, dude, like, people talk about the Old West and all this. People weren't getting shot every goddamn day. What are you talking about? What do you mean? People would fucking shoot each other in the middle of the goddamn street. And no one would on give an a agree- damn. On an agreed upon event. <laughs> yeah, he's right. That's fucking different. That is the same as me and you deciding we're going to step outside and fist fight. <laughs> yep. I was Except, just thinking about that scene. In, uh, I'm your Huckleberry. In, in, no, in Django, oh. in Django and Chain. When they rode through the town on horses, uh, yeah. and everybody made comments about who is that nigga mm. on that leg? <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson it was played the, that role fuck, so fucking great. great. great like, man. Oh. Everybody uh, Samuel out L. Jackson about and Jamie Fox, Fox man. Jamie Fox riding on that horse. Him, I don't know how Jamie Fox didn't laugh hysterically oh, at know. everything <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson said to him, every, and his name was Cotton. Every <laughs> single Cotton. thing, everything. Because Samuel Jackson hated him with everything in his power. Yeah, it was... Oh, that Samuel was L. Jackson so... was the living embodiment of Uncle Ruckus. That's yeah. the closest we're going to get to a live-action Uncle Ruckus. Oh. Oh, so <laughs> and then what was even funnier was, you know, he kept up appearances in public perception, but then you go to the closed doors, behind the closed doors in the study, and it seemed like he was calling the shots yes, for that... the fucking master. Oh, was. I was yeah. like... Well, he was. Yeah, he yeah. was. He like that was his. That was his right hand man. Yeah. That was his confidant. That yeah. was. <laughs> he might as well have been in control of everything. When he turned, it's the same. It's the same as when, um, what's his name, turned in Inglorious Bastards. And you saw that character change. Yeah, and it Chris went Ball from. Walsh. Who what? Christoph Waltz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Christoph Waltz was talking to the guy, and he was talking about in English, and instead of in French. Then he's talking about him harboring him enemies of the state. Mm. The change in his face oh, yeah. from from friendly friendly yeah. Gestapo like officer to the fucking Jew hunter. <laughs> that was it. Just the, he became a monster. But that was that same thing with Sam Jackson. When he went oh. from when he went from the butler to playing the fucking, that yeah playing that to role. The fucking, hey dude, you're getting fucking played out yeah. there. Yeah. Stop being stupid and stop sucking up to these guys so much. They got nothing for you. It's too sweet. That deal is too good. If it's if too it's, good to be true, yeah, it is. That's me. It is, and he got it. And can't there have been a lot of lies told around this table. <laughs> that was so good. I loved it. The I blood. Loved you know it. that he actually cut himself. Yeah, when he did, like it was an accident, yeah. and he uh-huh. kept going. And he rubbed it all on Cody well, Washington's face. He stabbed his fucking hand. Leonardo DiCaprio uh-huh. Leo. stabbed himself in the hand and kept going with the scene, and they well, kept you know, rolling. He he had just got done fucking with that bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that bear, bear fucked him, him up. up. Uh, he was tough from that. Leo the bear? No, Leo the DiCaprio. <laughs> DiCaprio. I, I introduced my father and uncle to the show this morning, and that was the that was the bit that I played him. <laughs> They think you're a fucking idiot, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot, dirt note. Fucking ass wipe. What are you talking about? You're the one that thinks sharks, you think you can't drown underwater. We are, we are going back in this fucking conversation again. Right? What? Oh, son. No. This what? Whole, this whole conversation look, look, happened. We're not going back in this. Because <laughs> sharks can't drown in fucking shit they breathe in. No, right? sharks suffocation. Drown. Sharks it, drown right? if they go backwards. If you pull the shark backwards under the water, it would drown. No, if you pull it backwards, it's just being but pulled backwards. But he doesn't think that... <laughs> can't, sharks can't swim backwards or they drown. No, they can't swim backwards, period. They don't have the muscles for it. Yeah. No, they can't. But, They'll evolve yeah. eventually. They won't evolve. But we'll evolve to have foot pedals and shit. But then we can like fucking <laughs> wrap around the motherfucking trees and shit and climb on the Wait a million mo- years, man. Um, yeah, we'll both be dead during that. Blink of an eye. I, 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 will, I will put sleeves back on your t shirt. Shut the fuck up. Hey. But. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand it. <laughs> Trying to have his weekend just lengthened. So it's like it. And the moral of this story is people should be able to own the fucking firearms that they want to own so long as they can show themselves to be responsible gun owners. Okay. Now, I will say this. Uh, the whole removal of not selling firearms to mentally ill people, that's some craziness. That's, so that's what. And you know what? When I go buy a gun, when I go buy any firearm, 
I don't need to have it that day. I don't. Mm-hmm. I. You know what? Put put a 14-day waiting period. That's cool. I'm fine with that. But don't tell me what kind of firearm I should and shouldn't own. Mm-hmm. As long as my check comes. Also, I don't like the background. Some background checks come back immediately or within two to three minutes. That's kind of sketchy. That's, I mean. Yeah, and I don't think the gun shows should happen anymore either. I think that gun shows should happen. They should be mandated to follow the same regulations. That's what I'm saying. Well, like that's, it's, it's a, two, a two day event, so how are you going to be able to run? You'd have to run a bunch of two minute and three minute background checks. No, that's They just don't it. get the like, weapon right then and there? No. They, you come on Saturday no. and then you, buy, you pick it up on Sunday? No. What, you, you got to go deliver it to their houses? Um, no, what needs to happen is the same way that I purchased my Springfield XDM40, which I love that gun. I'll pimp I, I it out to the, I you love keep it. saying the whole love thing. It. It's like made a in Croatia, loves, baby. Made it, in Croatia. A person that loves the name of their car Springfield color. Armory. Yeah. It's like, yes. yeah, that's, that's Black uh, Silk 31. Yeah. Wind Chill Pearl. Dude, yeah. yeah. Hey, look. Like a pretty color. Yeah. But whenever I, whenever I purchased it, I bought it from a website. And in order for me to get it, I had to contact a shop that has an FFL federal firearms license and I had to have it shipped there and I had to pay a $25 fee to have it shipped there. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to go pick it up, still had to fill out the paperwork, do the background Mm -hmm. check. I had to do all of that to even my gun is sitting. I can see it. There it is. I paid for it already Mm -hmm. paid the $25 transfer fee already. Mm -hmm. There it is. There's still a chance I might not get it, Mm -hmm. but that's what needs to happen. Yes, we can have gun shows. You find the firearm you like. You get all of the information. They get all of your information. And you make sure that there is an FFL dealer near you where that firearm can be shipped to. That is your responsibility. What? And then you contact the seller, and that gun gets shipped to that that FFL dealer. Right. Boom. There you go. Boom. Just saved a Boom. whole fucking lot of trouble. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds so easy logistically. It is. No. <laughs> Why isn't it? Because there's a lot right. of shipping involved yeah. in the firearms. It's it's and? Fucking, yeah, dude. Over. People don't like shipping firearms. Like, so. What'd you do? Uh, like shipping those. Like, no there are. like that. It's just <laughs> a, the, that, that just sounds like a logistical nightmare because then there's there's a step there. There's there, How many more people would that involve so the cost Think of the jobs up? you just created. Yeah, and the costs would go <laughs> up. And you, don't, you already don't want to pay for anything. Who wants to pay for shit? How bad do you want it? Yeah, right. How bad do you want it? Right, then right. you don't want it that bad. How right. does it feel? Right. If dude, it's supply and demand, you want something bad enough, mm-hmm. but but the there's not real good access to it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna pay extra, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Look, look, we collect. You and I both collect pop figures. Uh-huh. If you want a chase, you're gonna pay a little extra you're for it. Aren't you? In for that chase, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. one way or another. Yeah. Chase is exclusive pop. There's one out of every six. <laughs> one out of every six when they make a pop if they have a chase version. Yeah. yeah. No. So they're tough to find. So all the fucking, pops. all the assholes the and scalpers. the groups yeah. go cool. and what, show what, what, up. What, what, what is a chase? A chase. Like, so, okay, right, look, right up here. Look, see look, the I got my Scott, no, Razor Ramon. I got my Scott Hall one. I got my NWO next Razor to it. Right see right it? Here. Okay, so the one that has the yellow chase sticker. Uh-huh. He's wearing the NWO vest and everything. It's Scott Hall. Okay. And then the one next to him is Razor Ramon. Oh, okay. So yeah. that chase, there was only one in six chance oh. of getting it. That one. Do you see I the new WWE up. ones that are coming out? Yes. The Jake the Snake Roberts. Yes. Oh, and man. the Chase Jake the Snake. Yes. And the WrestleMania 13 and Shawn Michaels. Sting and Luger. Tag team. <laughs> Fucking, the fucking stinger. A lot of people. The stinger. A lot of people don't like the Luger, play. but uh, I love the Sting figure enough. I'm gonna buy it. Both. Like, yeah, I want yeah. both. I want both of them. I want the Shawn Michaels but, one. But back to what I was saying, though, like the chase, the chase, you pay more for them uh-huh. unless you happen to find one. Right. Where your chances are very slim. So, so when you just, said the chase, see, I'm from a different <laughs> world, and yeah. When you said the chase, first thing I thought was about the crackhead hitting the crack pipe, then getting up and looking for that's, the crack again. You so know what? You just, you just made the, the most perfect analogy <laughs> for what 
collecting pop figures is. You just made the most perfect analogy. So he said that y'all pointed uh, these boxes with chase. wrestlers uh, in them. I was like, wait, wait a minute, yeah. and that says Chase on the box. That's, that's so right. that's what they mean by Chase. But that's Scott Hall, though. yeah, that's that's crazy. Word. So they made y'all addicted to that know. shit. Yes, I like. Well, I, yes, it, this is literally vinyl crack in a box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is exactly what yeah. it is. Ricochet, um, <laughs> NST. Sells with down. Sells with down. That's all right. We're gonna so, we're gonna make um, a chase. Mm, mm, <laughs> we gonna make mm, these motherfuckers go by. But no, what's it? What the whole? What the whole gun thing? Shut up. Yeah. With the whole gun thing though. Yes, there do need to be measures implemented. I've never once said, oh, no, anyone should have access. No, if you're a felon, you lose your right. If you be, if you are declared mentally ill or mentally unfit, you should not be owning firearms. Should not. I mean, this, I don't even understand why that's a discussion. Psychotic, any mental medication you shouldn't. Right. Own. If you're on, if you're on Prozac, Zoloft, anything, anything that you your brain. Yeah, yeah, anything that alters your Shit. state of yep. mind yep. perpetually through your, yep. so that's you can get through everyday through life. life. Yep. <clears throat> Because really? if you if you forget to take Adderall. it for a day, well, wait a second. If you forget what? to take it for, per, no, perpetually prescribed. Yeah. To what? get through life, not something that you're doing recreationally. <laughs> I'm not well, saying. I'm not, well, what I'm no, saying that is, vape dude, you got. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. But no, I'm cool. I'm I'm with it. I understand yeah. completely. Yeah, I, got I, don't, I don't believe that shit. I don't fucking. I don't. I had to do a lot of fucking. Do you stuff. own any firearms? I have a shotgun, just for home defense, right? If that, <laughs> he just has is to look it dusty as shit. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> is it that old musket from like nineteen twenties? <laughs> dude, it's you got to fucking like put a barrel down. What do you? It's a pump shot. <laughs> is it's it a, more for intimidation is it an eight, than anything? You got else. Remington or Mossberg? Um, it's need a, a Mossberg five hundred. Yeah, twelve gauge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mossberg five hundred. That's that's dude, insane. the two most popular twelve gauge Mossberg five hundred, Remington eight seventy super magnum. They are the end all be all. I don't care what people. Keltec, yeah, they make that some cool shit. Rack is nice over, and loud. It's, oh, that, that's and, what it's for. And you know that in some states, that is the like in some states you have to give a warning if you're armed. Yeah. Like if you have a pistol, you're like I'm armed. I will shoot you. Like if a home intruder, blah blah. There are some states that have deemed that the sound of a shotgun racking is so unmistakable that that is the only sound that needs to be heard yeah. if someone breaks into your home. That's it. Well, you, there ain't no mistake yeah. in what that was. Like, oh, what was that? Was that a dog? Was that a cat? No. That, did you hear that? <laughs> did somebody just scuttle across the floor? No, bitch, that was a shotgun. That was the sound of people leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Run, motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Move, fool, move, move. But that's the bitch. other thing. Like, you, know, you say, you suck. know, you, you ask. Unfortunately, my house is too small, and I don't think I'd make it to the gun in time. <laughs> How's it too small? So... Right? It's, Hold on. So my house is, because somebody would be able to come in the front door if they were coming in to break in, and if it wasn't just somebody that was taking their fucking sweet ass time in the living room, I wouldn't be able to be like, Keep "Oh my up. god, somebody's so, here!" Hey, look. So Australia, head. Australia did a complete firearms ban uh-huh. and, and and collection. Uh huh. Did they ban everything? Guess what still happens in Australia? Shootings, mass murders. Uh-huh. If people. Are motivated, they will find a fucking way. Mm-hmm. There was one dude that had a vehicle, drove the vehicle into the mall, mm-hmm. killed six, injured like mm-hmm. thirty-one, some mm-hmm. shit like that. Um, and then there was the there was no a, one can shoot him and stop him, so he had all day to drive around six. that motherfucker. Think, oh, look at the dude in China. Look at the dude in thirty-one. You know killed six with a car. Yeah, that That's got slowed down by the windows yeah. and the doors and shit. Yep. Then look, a kid. Look at look 17, at uh, what is it? Seventeen people, right? Because no one was there to shoot him. Yeah, right. And it's Florida. You think they'd be like already ready for? And that the thing yeah, is, that's, that's great. Thinking. That's great. You can make all the laws you want, all the it's laws you want, happening. and law-abiding citizens will follow them. But if you're, but and people like him, thinking. people like him are always going to exist. They're always going to be here, and they're always going to have access to things that you and I don't, because we stay I in the straight and narrow. I know. He took a fucking detour. I know. Yep. Yeah, man. Fucking uh, Nicholas dude. When Cage. I lived in Vegas, when I lived in Vegas, it wasn't shit for me to at least a few times a week be offered. Hey, man, you want to buy some guns? Oh, let, let me tell you, the first, I went for it the first time. I was like, okay, let me take a look. 
Not a single one of these motherfuckers had five, uh, had serial numbers on them. Shit. I was like, oh, no, nah, man, none of these are what I'm looking for. Like, I played it cool, but I was like, mm, and I wiped that motherfucker down before I handed it back to him. Yeah. Oh, with my shirt, man. I'm, man, you ain't coming up to me like, on the street that, 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 anyway. Ask me if I want to buy a gun. Oh, my God. No, nigga, you better watch out. <laughs> Why? Like pardon, pardon oh, dude. me. Well, we, that's not something you go door to door for. Me. Pardon me. That's not a vacuum cleaner. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. To buy one of my oh, you'd be amazed, man. Weapon of mass destruction right here. I have a name. You'd be amazed, man. Some of these dudes, they're bold, man. They don't give a shit. And not only that, they're armed to the teeth. What are you going to do to them? I got to get back to the ball. I agree with you. But you can't come to my black ass and tell about you want to buy a gun. So no. I don't care if I was about to walk into the gun shop. You cannot tap me on the shoulder from behind and be like, hey, dog, you want to buy a gun? I know you want to buy, I know you're about to buy a gun, but do you want to buy you one buy right one now? Cheaper? It's like, hey, people have come up to you and asked you stranger things, I'm yes, sure. Yes, you're right. right. There's one girl on Thanksgiving and said, hey, did you go to the church to get your free herpes? What? Hair piece or herpes? I think you said herpes. <laughs> I'm ninety eight percent sure the bitch said her piece. Uh, did you go to the church and get your free hair piece? She's talking about a wig, I think. I don't no, know. she said her piece. <laughs> and I said, first of all, bitch, well, if exactly. I'm going to get it, I am not going to uh, pay her for piece. it. Her piece. Her piece. She said her piece. She meant to say piece. turkey, but she uh, said her uh, piece. Her, uh, hair <laughs> piece. Maybe turkeys. A hair piece. No, she meant to say turkey. No, a hair piece. Her. <laughs> Ease. No. Did you miss her. that he actually said what she was trying to say? Turkey. turkey. What the okay. fuck is wrong with you two? Man? Turkey. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> she was trying to say. She this is say pretty turkey. much what I do. I'll start. So I'll start a debate. I'll start something going, and these two idiots will get into it. And I'm just like, dance puppets, dance, entertain my crowd. <sighs> How often? How often does it happen that like, you two will just? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just her like, peace. her peace, her peace, her promise of God, her. I know, like Becky with the good her, Becky with the good her. <laughs> that's what she said. Her uh, peace, Beyonce, get in formation. That's the shit. Though. That's what I'm saying. Oh my God, <laughs> like Becky with the good her peace, like a wig. Yo, that's what <laughs> Rita Ora. That's, that's what they think it was. Rita uh, Ora was Becky with the good her. Okay, sure. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Uh, she's a fucking great looking lady. That's okay. what the fuck she is. Okay. Well, just because I don't know. I will educate There's so you, many things. <laughs> why, you gotta try, why are you trying to judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, motherfucker? Mo- 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 are we going to talk about this? Are we going to go back to that rap, motherfucker? Uh-huh. Are we going back? Motherfucker, look at this motherfucker. Motherfucker, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? What are you over there talking about, He's bulldog? Oh, here you go. Okay, so here, I got another one. September or uh, November 18th, 2011. This is Sydney, Australia. Arson attack by Roger Kingsley Dean, a nurse, which killed 11 people. An arson attack. Okay. That means he lit the goddamn building on fire. Uh Uh-huh. And 11 motherfuckers died. (laughs) Yeah. All right. If there is a will, there is a way. Okay. Like, look at that dude. The dude in China. How many people died? 11. 11. Okay. So. That's from a fire that you can walk away from. Okay. You ain't even got to run. All right. You see the fire. So. And you go, hey, I'm going to go that way. (laughs) Fire's that way. I'm going to go this way. How many people, how many people is that still short of? Six. The AR-15. Six. Yeah, exactly. That's fire. Okay. That's fire. Okay. I mean, that burned. Maybe we also have to take into account that, uh, you know, hey. Not everybody is going to make it out of a situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, but what what if there had been armed guards at that school? Mm-hmm. It would never happen. That's why it don't happen in the city. As I say. Oh, and you notice too. You notice too that most of these things happen in gun-free zones and white areas. Gun free zone. He said it. I didn't say it. That's, I just want to point that out. You make a good point. <laughs> he said it. How co- hey, I bet nobody's going to an inner city school to try to shoot anything up. Because all the cop cars parked at the, the front door. Fuck the cop it. cars. I bet the kids will gun your ass yep. down before anything. Yeah, like, you think just because they pass the through metal detectors, yeah. right? You think just because <laughs> they pass through metal detectors, they're not finding ways to yep. get that shit in? These mm-hmm. kids, these are kids that are, that are built on survival. Mm-hmm. When they walk from the school to home, the, their lives are about survival. Mm-hmm. We had two cops at Bossy when I went there. Shit. That was 
Yeah, and I know all, all of the schools here in I Evansville. Went to Ball City. Do, okay, whenever I go, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> when I go, hey, when I go to the alter, when I go to one of the alternative schools here, uh, well, actually, I go to both uh, to yeah, do the, drug testing. A- a- when you walk in, there is never a time you don't see police. You look down one hallway, mm-hmm. and there's a cop standing there. Yep. You look down the other hallway, there's a cop standing there. And you don't only, have that happen. Not only that, but all of our schools here have electronic locks on the door. You have to be buzzed in. And, yep. and if you don't have a good reason to be there, if they don't know you, a police officer will come to the door to meet you and walk you in. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, you know, these, these people talk about, oh, <laughs> like that kid was like, oh, I'll go shoot up a school in Evansville. Good luck. Yeah. I mean,. I mean, you're you gonna get shot. First before. of all, all our building is really old, and made of concrete. So <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to That's have to be a no good shot joke. to hit somebody, right? <laughs> but yeah, man, like all of our schools here, we have police officers in them. That's not even just armed security. Those are cops. Those are cops that our budget, you know, our city and county budget justify mm-hmm. being there for protection. Mm-hmm. Like I said, Why you don't see it happen. Not- the shit doesn't happen to inner city schools anywhere on this planet. Mm-hmm. Doesn't happen to any the schools where they got the uh, teachers who will carry a gun to school. Motherfuckers know that Colorado, just, or maybe we just don't hear about it as much. But it might be more singularity because it's honestly, because it's pistols and fucking it's handguns yeah, and shit that those might shootings be right. happen. But like, um, honestly, don't know about it if, on as, as, if as an inner as city school, somebody's coming to shoot up, shoot up somebody. They're going for it's, one person. Right. They're going to target that's that what one I'm saying, person. If because of gang yeah. violence and shit, and I've been in Chicago. It happens all the time. There, it, it, I haven't, hasn't there been there. hasn't there been like eighteen school shootings this this year already? No, no. Okay, I I don't know. Dude, that is know. a completely fabricated. Hold on, here. Okay, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't look into it enough. I stay away from the news because of. How negative you probably, it is I don't watch news either, so yeah. I don't know much about what I don't watch TV at all. 2,000 yeah, right. incidents. Uh, <laughs> 2000, uh, 2018, seven incidents to date. Okay, seven. Uh, That's only uh, we have January 20th, January 22nd, two of them on January 22nd. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and here's the thing. Over. Hold on, check this. 20 deaths, 40 injuries. Of those 20 deaths, 17 of them just happened on Valentine's uh-huh. Day. Oh, wow. So. The news is lying to you. They are skewing shit. Now, have there been 18 mass shootings in the U.S. since the beginning of the year? Probably. Not 18 school shootings. Okay. That's different. Yeah, and, a, right. and a mass shooting, a mass shooting only means that you had more than one target. You could literally walk into your family home. This like you go to your shooting. right, right here. This is a, if I pulled on you guys right now, okay. this would be considered a mass shooting. I'll pull a dart nap in front of me. <laughs> but you Good see what luck. I'm saying? There's more. Than, <laughs> you have more than one target. More than one target. It's considered mass shooting. Yeah, I just that's, uh-huh. that's all it is. <laughs> and so people, you know, people, people use terms that they don't understand. First of all, like assault rifle. Yeah. Well then, if, if if an AR-15, if a standard AR-15 that you purchase at Dick Sporting Goods or Academy Sports or wherever you got it, if that's an assault rifle, Rachel's. then then my XDM-40 is an assault pistol. Serves the same purpose. Semi-automatic, um, as fast as you can pull the trigger, it any, holds 17 rounds. And anything that you shoot would be in an assault, right? <laughs> <laughs> Have Rubber you seen my assault <laughs> wrench? <laughs> that yeah. yeah. I but got when they say with an umbrella before. The, the other thing is alive? the AR-15. More more people are up in arms about it just because of the way it looks. It's like the pit bull thing, maybe. Yeah. Like Which the, the pit bull is not even in the top ten of biting breeds. Right. No. Dalmatians. Which is uh, how you Chihuahua, raise them. Cocker spaniels, huh? Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas, Chihuahuas, Chihuahuas yeah, yeah. are high chows. biting breed. Chows. Most vicious breed is oh, Chihuahua. Chows are, <laughs> yeah. Especially, you know what people do to chows to really make them crazy? What, poke they put, them? They put gunpowder in their food. Oh, wow. Why would you put gunpowder in It food? destroys the, some of the synapses in their brain. Because they're Chinese, man. They and they once, that dog, once that dog is bonded with that family, uh-huh. it stays connected with that family. But then it, it burns the synapses in this dog's brain that it basically perceives everything else as a threat. Pretty much. Wow. And they will they go ham. They are mean. Oh, fuck chows yeah. Chows are mean. Chows, are all, chows were already bred to be protective, protective dogs. Yeah. 
And that's well, that's like uh, you know, Shih Tzus and Lhasa Apsos. Mm-hmm. Do you know Lots that those? Of shits. Are- Lots of, what the fuck is a Lhasa Apso? It's, a, it's, it's if a, it's a, a Shih Tzu and a Lhasa Apso have a baby together. <laughs> yeah, Lhasa Shih. Shih Tzus and Lhasa Apsos. Those were, are called Taco Bell food. They were Taco Bell food. They were to, no, those are the little <laughs> fluffy dogs. You know, little Shih Tzu dogs. Everybody's got them. They're little yappy dogs. Yeah. They were Tibetan palace guard dogs. What? The Shih Tzu? Yeah. You because when you see one, Tibet, when you see one, bah, 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 what you don't see are the other 15 coming down the goddamn hallway. <laughs> With their little short legs. Come but the thing you. is, the thing is, man, they've got, <laughs> they've got a bite. They've got a yeah. powerful bite. for the, they got short, little, a short snout, snout muzzle, yep. but they got a powerful, like per square inch, they have a very powerful bite, and they will tear you the fuck <laughs> up. All I'm thinking about is a montage with that song. I need a montage. I need a hero. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> How embarrassing. While I'm kicking the fuck out of all these little dogs. <laughs> <laughs> How, How embarrassing. <laughs> How embarrassing would it be to have to explain <laughs> to people <laughs> that you got mauled by a pack of shih tzu? That's what I'm saying. I'll That's kick the shit out of them. I need a hero. Well, I don't I know, man. Hero. I'm a little dude, so people are like, yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny to come up from Bulldog. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was about three or four. Oh, yeah, dude. If it happened to me, it took me people down. Are like, it took me right down. here. Like 85 shit. You could have ate me. two of them. <laughs> I got full. I couldn't eat the rest of them. You got me. It tastes like chicken. You just needed to wait. If you'd have just waited 15 more minutes, you'd have been fine. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sushi. Right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Woo. I got it. So it's ours. <laughs> but no, like I'm a Rottweiler fan, man. Yeah, like, Dude, I had I had a Rottweiler. Her name was Cammy. She was one of the sweetest fucking dogs yeah. ever. She loved everyone. I had three. I've had three pit bulls. <laughs> what? what? I was just thinking about like you taking a picture like. Crouched with a Rottweiler. Who me? Next, yeah, you. I didn't have to a, crouch because you were just. <laughs> the, yeah, the dog stands eye level with the, him. The, the, the Rottweiler sitting down, like all all regal and all swollen. And, and shit. you're in like a white white a wife beater with a gold and, chain on and, and Adidas Adidas tracksuit pants. I just took those off this morning. <laughs> <laughs> crouch down, like. I like, can't shit. go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Looking like a two-like crew. With, uh, <laughs> like a fake whippy ass LL Cool J. <laughs> Jewel. Your dog's name is Jewel. <laughs> My dog's name was Shank. Shank. That's Shank. so. That's so much better. <laughs> Shank. Yeah, I, I've had three pit bulls. <laughs> it was right when that DMX <laughs> dropped his first album. Oh, God. <laughs> right after that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've had three pit bulls, and they they yes were the my, okay my two males, my two male pit bulls, huge babies. Like if they even saw other dogs, like people be out walking their dogs, if they got close, my two male pit bulls would immediately lay down and roll over on their back, like showing submission. And I'm like, you are the two most worthless turds I have ever seen. Like you realize that is a golden retriever. You can rip this dog's jugular out at any moment. And my dogs are like, I'm so happy to see you. Love me. And but my female, my female was a little more apprehensive, but she always loved people. Now, when people would show up at the house, we had to take her outside so that she could walk around them and sniff them and then walk in the house with them. Otherwise you, they were intruders. You didn't just walk in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's, uh, See, I don't like fucking with anybody's anybody else's dog. I don't, I don't either. Don't, I'm not a big fan. I love you don't dogs. do it anyway. Yeah. I, mean, I like dogs. I, I do. I do like dogs. Don't get me wrong. You're only friendly with a dog if it becomes a situation where you're going to be around them all the time. If somebody got a dog that you're not going to see all the time, you don't deal with it. It messes up the dog. It messes up the whole whole loving and protection Well, that, that also has to deal... A lot of people end up in bad situations because they don't know how to be a pack leader for their yeah, dogs. Exactly. They let their dog kind of run the show, mm-hmm. and I've never allowed that to happen. Yeah. Never. Uh, the only reason that Mila, my female, <laughs> was like that was because I got her when she was six months old already, mm-hmm. so she had already established a few things, and and the thing was, like, when we started, the first time I ever started wrestling around with her, when I'd had her for about two days, 
she bit me like real hard on my mm -hmm. arm and withdrew man i grabbed her by the back of the neck and bit her almost as hard as i could and she learned real goddamn quick learned real <laughs> quick like she just she dog. cowered yelped and looked at me and i and i didn't speak to her in a mean voice but i was like come here and she came over like she belly crawled <laughs> over to my feet and i loved on her yeah. But I spoke to her in a tone that was like, yeah. you don't ever do that again. We don't. That's not how we behave. That, that is not. I, and, here's a I, and you know what? Hey, here's, <laughs> the, here's the thing. So why as a society, is it okay for us to correct animals' behavior? But, not humans, but now but we can't children. correct kids' behavior. And that's where a lot of this bullshit's coming from. Who who's not correcting their kids? You can't you can't you can't spank a kid anymore. You, you can't whip you a kid's can't, ass can't anymore when they get out of line. Discipline you will child. get DCS called on you for abuse. For physically disciplining your children. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, yep. That's where a lot of this shit why do you like think these at little all, like period, even why if you, they don't have marks on them? Hell anything? no. Dude, if a like, kid if calls if a kid calls nine one one and says, My parent just hit me. What if they don't oh, even have any marks? That you know what that's like saying, Dave. That's like saying that a woman mm -hmm. who calls nine one one but doesn't have any marks, she's lying. Yep. Mm, now you're dancing in some no, no, real no. weird. No, no, no. You go, you go yeah, do a rape them. kit. You go do a rape kit. No, 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 that's no. no. That's not that's what, what I'm talking about. about. No, that's not. I'm talking about a woman that gets slapped, but she doesn't have a she doesn't have a mark. If she gets hit by a dude and the dude doesn't leave a mark. I, did he really hit her that hard? <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, I'm saying. So I'm saying. And that hate mail could be uh, uh, he sent to love you Dirt he Matt Dave's you Facebook page. Guy. Well, no. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not saying I that. mean, did he really put effort <laughs> into it? <laughs> there is no there is no did he even try to beat the bitch down? Because if I'm hitting somebody. I think he was just trying to get you a I'm angry. It's going to leave a mark. It'll leave. You'll leave a bruise. That's not abuse. That was you need to go make a sandwich. Even if you do it, even if you do that it was on the arm. That therapy. If, if That's you what hit that somebody was. on the arm, not even, play, even playing, you leave a mark. Even yeah. if you're just playing around. Get I up. So I was by, just joking. I was told by no. somebody from, what y'all call it, DCF, FCD, ABD. One of the letters that, if the child is laughing and joking while you playing with him, leave a mark, they ain't got mm -hmm. nothing to say. I said, so I could choke my daughter and slap her as long as I got telling jokes and keeping her fuck? laughing. It's cool. She said, yeah. I said, I'm going to chest that shit. You're going to choke, your, choke your daughter? Okay. Yeah, man, my daughter wrestles hard, man. We well, wrestle hard. suplexer, man. I do. Right? I do. Ah. Yeah, suplexer. That stalling suplex where you let the blood, blood uh, run to their brain. Yep. Yeah. Brain buster. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you walk around the room with them for about 10 minutes. That pulling brain Stop buster. and watch your favorite show for a few minutes. They hit him with a jacket. Then drop him real quick. <laughs> Check it out. Ooh, married with children. I ain't seen this in a while. Ooh, it's the episode where Al's in the shoe store insulting the fat lady. Spin oh, around man. a couple of I love times. That episode. Couple of bumps on the head, give a kid character. No yeah, man. But, uh, I think that people. I think that there needs to be less concern about the because here's the thing too, the gun control conversation only comes up when a shooting occurs. And like I said, we fast forward two weeks from now. No one's gonna give a fuck again. Yeah. Nobody's gonna give a fuck. It and nothing has changed. They're not taking your guns away. They're not doing it. So it's just, just a conversation. But I, just I think, think the conversation the again. Made the conversation civilians. that needs to be had is how can we be kinder to each other? How, how? How can we all be better parents? Right. How, how can you? Parents you are accountability. You're parents. Personal no, accountability. Think about how many parents are very surprised when they get a phone call to find out that their kid's bullying someone, yep. and they're like. My kid wouldn't bully anyone, blah, blah, blah. Man, yep. you know how much shit I did that my parents and my grandparents kinder? had no clue of? What a, a good way to start that. A good way is just being good to yourself. Mm -hmm. if, you start, well, if, the, you start, if you start and look in the mirror and, and address, address your weak points and, and try to be better about being organized. But for us as adults, that's easy to say. Yeah. For a 14, 15, 16-year-old hormonal kid who is dealing with bullshit after bullshit day after day, and maybe they go home and their home life is fucking a shitstorm too. You got okay. alcoholic parents or uh -huh. meth head parents uh -huh. that don't give a fuck about the kid. The kid sees the parents uh -huh. maybe two times a week, uh -huh. and they're left to fend for themselves, and then they got to deal with these assholes at school, and everybody, you know, eventually 
it comes into play. Of, man, you're worthless. You're not going to be anything. Oprah you're never Winfrey do was anything. too. He sounds like a Jim hey, representative. Hold on, hold on. And you listed one person, man. Uh, one. Oprah Winfrey. You well, listed just, one I, person out of seven and a half billion. A one person that got away from terribleness. Not everybody has not terrible, one, but everybody has str- everybody. No matter who it is, it doesn't matter. You if you're the, if you're the, if you, if you have the sure, worst. Sure, everyone background, has strife, but you're talking degrees. If you're walking, if you're, if you have the worst background ever, and you come up in the shittiest background ever, or if you're the richest, I know people that are unhappy that came up with everything. Yeah. If you got a trust that has a trust, trust. You just fucking, you can always, you can't fail. You can't fail. And so you can't get motivated enough to succeed. Because See, here's you can't. Because when you set look, up to exactly. succeed, look, yeah, you need to fail to succeed. You here, don't I'll have just, any I'll purpose. Use, I'll, use my personal, you do I'll use my personal you out experience. Of I know kids that had parents that ignored them. I had a womb donor and a stepfather that didn't ignore me at all. I was a whipping post. I was a punching bag. For any verbal tirade, however shitty their day was, I was always there for them to take it out on when they got home. And if you ask me, would I rather have unattentive parents or attentive parents, I'll pick the people minding their own goddamn business (laughs) 11 out of 10 times. Uh Uh-huh. So, yes, everyone has strife, but there are varying degrees, and there are degrees that create serial killers, mass murderers, and shit like that. You don't just... You're not born... To be a serial killer, you're shaped, you're molded, you're created. Ted Bundy. That <laughs> shit, you are built. Something has happened Something, to you over yeah, and you over are again. Built. Oh, and, you and are every, constructed. And, and everyone. The, the only thing that saved me, again, I'll say it, the only thing that saved me was my, my dad, my stepmom, and my grandparents. They got me at 14 years old, and I, wasn't, I was no longer a kid. I was a fucking broken man. Mm-hmm. And I had been beaten and... Just like I said, my womb donor tried to fucking kill me. Mm-hmm. She tried to kill me. Wow. And so, yeah. I, and like I said before, like the only people that I've ever read whose stories mirror mine or even resemble mine are people on death row or they're serving life sentences without the possibility of parole. Or I've read their memoirs after they were killed. <clears throat> like that. That's it. That. That's the reality. Like, I know... That, that, that you found. There are people that have come from terrible backgrounds that have uh, that have become great, great people. The founders of companies whose stories that you have no <coughs> idea even existed. The guys that have gone from that have gone from nothing to everything. But that's just had, it. Look what's ready, readily nothing. available for me to find. Yeah. It's that's out what, there. It's out there. It's out there, bud. There's people that you can find and that have had similar situations to yours that are not just that have not that have done good in the world. Well, I mean, there have to be. Of, I'm yeah. sitting here. Yeah, I haven't killed anyone that I know of. I I don't intentionally hurt people. I don't hurt animals. I don't. You know, mm. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, I'm just saying these right. are stereotypical things. Right. Like I I don't I don't. I'm not mean to people for the sake of meanness. Right. I, I, that's not me. I'm right. not that person. Once upon a time, I was heading toward that person. I was. Due to my later teen years and early 20s, I was a fucking asshole. Like, I was always a good guy. Like, nice people mm-hmm. liked me. I was funny, fun to be around. But all you had to do was give me a fucking dirty, errant look, and I'll fuck your shit up, man. We, it, shit can be on. Let's go. But you just thinking it's going to be a fist fight ends up with you get catching a pile driver on the median in Green River Road <laughs> and a broken collarbone. That shit yeah. happened, man. You know why that shit happened? That shit happened because a dude was driving his little yeah, truck yeah. with his friends in the, in the back of the truck and one in the front with him, and he was just talking shit. Okay. Driving by Taco Bell, talking shit, and then all of a sudden, one time that he drives by, he slows down, and he goes, Hey, you fat motherfucker. And I was like, Oh, I know you're talking to me. And he I've was like, fuck that. you, blah, blah, blah. And he took off. And I said, next time he comes back around, point out, point like, let me know. There's 300 people in the goddamn parking lot. And sure as shit, his <laughs> ass gets caught on the other side of Green River Road going north. Mm-hmm. Gets caught in that traffic right there waiting to turn left there mm-hmm. to go around Noble Romans into between Noble Romans and Taco Bell again. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's just sitting there. And, and somebody Bell. goes, and somebody goes, hey, Bulldog, there's that dude. And I 
flew off the fucking table over that little wall in front of Taco mm-hmm. Bell. And I was across traffic and to his truck in probably about five to six seconds. I reached through his window, put his truck in park, shut his truck off, opened the door, pulled him out, and the fight was on. He knew the fight was on. He was swinging too. Mm-hmm. Problem was, I swung better. <laughs> And then when I need him in the gut and he bent over, I put his head right between my legs, picked his legs up in the air, and pile drove his ass on the fucking median and broke his collarbone on my thigh. Fantastic. Mm-mm. Kapowie. Yeah. That's... Like, Ow, you ruined my weekend. Tell you, I've heard this story before. <laughs> did, did you know... Any, like, did you know... Well, I'll say his name. Eric Reeder. Any of them guys? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's it. I used to hang out. Dude, Reader used to get me in so many goddamn fights. <laughs> he, all the time. Like, Reader would be talking shit, and he'd be like, he'd get somebody so goddamn riled up, and they'd be like, you want to fucking fight? And he'd be like, no, I don't, but my buddy Bulldog does. <laughs> and I'm like, you motherfucker, but I'm not going to let anything happen to him. See? Of course, I will say this. Reader, Mm-mm. Reader had one of the most impressive abilities I've ever seen. I think he's a mutant. He has superpowers. I don't know. He couldn't fight to save his life. Mm-hmm. There ain't no fucking way in hell. But I've seen that dude take punches that would knock any of the four of us clean the fuck out. That's why he and he would snap his head back and look you dead in the fucking eye. I don't care how bad you think you are. When you hit somebody with everything you fucking got and their head just goes, Whoa, and they look you right in the fucking eye. You're done. All the fight goes the fuck out of you because you don't want to know where it's going. You don't know if he can fight. You don't know, but you don't want to find out because he just took what you he took your best, and it didn't phase him. So I, never, I never even saw him guy. stumble from a punch, like stagger. Never. I watched him get Tie punched up. by a dude that had to be Choke 350 home. pounds. Reader was like a buck seventy five, buck eighty <laughs> tops at his max weight. And he took this shot and just stared this motherfucker in the face and he goes, was that it? Uh-uh. uh-uh. Man, if I hit somebody as hard as I can and they look at me and go, is that it? I'm going to be like, I am sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Holy it, it, shit. It was. It was. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> that, I'm sorry. That, that was, was for you, bro. That let was get, it. Let me get your That check. came from the depths of my soul. <laughs> let me get and your... Yeah. It did not um, do shit. So, no, nah, man, let me hug you one time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I love you, dog. We cool, right? <laughs> we cool. If you're going to hit me back, can you hit me, like, in the chest or the gut? Yeah, like, not in the face. Here, 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 here. Not in the face. I love you. Yeah. Dude, that's serious shit. But no, man, like the, the whole mentality, though, uh, it's it's always going to be there. There's always going to be somebody in some shitty situation that gets progressively worse and amped up than what most people can fathom. And I talk to people who, uh, I don't understand this. There are people in this world that are so sunshiny and happy that live in this goddamn city. They live in the same fucking city as us. I love Evansville. I really do. I love Evansville. It is a good place to live. But I know there's there's it, there's shitty things in the city, <laughs> all over it. Shitty things. Doesn't matter what side of town you live on. Bad no, things. Doesn't. But there are sunshiny, happy fucking people that are completely oblivious. When I talk about my life, when I talk about things that I've been through, experienced, and what happened to me, and they're like, I I, I don't understand that. Like I just, how could that happen to you? How? What fucking world are you... What line was I standing in when they were handing out lives and you got this where nothing ever happens to you? You think There's that, a lot of people that were sheltered in this. Oh, area. my God. But that's sheltered. just it. We're talking in an age of the internet and social media. How sheltered can you truly be? People, How oblivious yeah, can you be? You got to think of the willpower of your parents. What they want you to be, if they want you to be something, they're going to make you be that. But, I mean, these kids go to public school. You're going to school with other human beings. That's true. And you are, there's no way that you can't be perceptive to shitty things happening around you. Well, how can your life, your home how life. can your life be so great that you can ignore, unless it becomes a national news headline, how can you ignore shitty things that are happening yeah. around you? It has to be ignoring it, right? Like, it has to be. What do you, what do you mean? People that are happy shouldn't be happy what do you, I don't, that's not what i'm saying at all you, but how can you be so oblivious to misery happening around you in close proximity how is that possible denial or, it, that's the only yeah. thing that i can think it perspective has to be. 
perspective. Fuck. What? No, then you have denial. none. This you denial. have. If, denial. Look, what do you? I don't. I'm sorry. You I'm trying refuse to, to believe that. I okay. Have. Look. Hey, Dave. Let me give saying. you an example. The, the four of us. Hey, the four of us. Like, let's just. I'm going to give you this as an argumentative <sighs> example. The four of us grew up together. We go to high school together every day. We have three of the same classes with each other every day. That'd be cool. Two of us, statistically, we're not going to like each other at all. Like, we're not even going to be tolerant of each other. One person, we'll say we'll say that Tor, yeah, yeah <laughs> right, Nubsy and Dave. <laughs> but, and then one person, so now one of us is completely oblivious, though, to other things that are happening around. But we all, we're all in close proximity multiple mm-hmm. times every day. The teacher is going to treat the four of us differently, especially, okay, we'll use my high school as an example. Torin, you're going to be the odd man out. No, I'm, I feel like that every day anyway, Evan. So. But, <laughs> but you're really going to be the odd man out in this town of 7,000 people, mm-hmm. and you are one of like three black people mm-hmm. that yeah, are there. Exactly, yeah. And so you're automatically going to be in a different situation than what the three of us are i can tell i can tell you by when i was growing up i was one of the first generations of the uh evansville school corporations that took the inner cities and put them out at the other schools i went to uh highland elementary one of the first groups of the only bus that pulled up in front of that school with black kids on it that's the very first one man three black kids in the classroom growing up you know this is back in you know 80 so anymore. you yeah oh yeah, yeah so you so, know yeah you know what the point well, that i'm making right, here yeah, yeah. So, i mean yeah, so i mean there's going to be you and one of us like me being kind of a kind of an asshole and a fuck off in school that teacher's gonna be shitty to me you two don't like each other but you're great students mm-hmm. so i the am teacher, a great stu- i was but a the great teacher student. i was right, not a great student okay but look i'm just using this for argumentative black sex, for argument <laughs> sex. but look and look, we'll say Torin's a great student too, but he's black, mm-hmm. and he's black in a he is a my. Okay. Look, so he has to work look, harder. There are more mean. gay people at this school <laughs> than black people. Okay, okay. Yeah. So he has to work. So harder. all three of you are great students. <laughs> so what? But he gets treated well, differently. Well, I'm not supposed to but you that. see what I'm saying? There are going to be inconsistencies that are anybody with perception. Okay. You're gonna pick up on it, and you're gonna be like, "God damn, that's shitty." Okay. So you can't even say it's perspective. That if it, if it goes down to that, then you have none. Like, you, yeah, you do. You're oblivious. No, you're not. <coughs> it's still no, hard. there's I'm still hard things that, that I'm things talking that about people who, when you tell them, when you tell them things <laughs> that happen, like I, I had a conversation with a friend that another friend was dating, and this girl. <coughs> literally is the embodiment of what i'm talking about like i'm picturing her face as i'm saying these people are so goddamn oblivious that when you say like okay in my neighborhood it 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 wouldn't be anything for me to if i walk across the street to go to save a lot to go shop i may have my pistol tucked in the back of my pants because do i want something to happen no but am I realistic and ready receptive of my fucking neighborhood and where I live and ready? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, no, I don't want to think the worst about people. But I gotta protect myself. But reality of where I live says, hey, man, this shit is likely to pop off at any time. And you, me, whenever I say you, I mean me. But you being a big, big, white, tattooed, scary motherfucker, especially if my mohawk's up and all that shit and my spikes in my face... I am way different than the norm here. The way city. different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the whole yeah city. I don't fit in. Well, yeah, in the there's city nowhere in this city you fit in. No. 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 <laughs> I go to any neighborhood and people are like, Golden uh, Corral. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. that's true. <laughs> they don't yeah. even they don't even bat an eye at me there. Hey, <laughs> Bulldog, welcome back. <laughs> I don't know. Crazy buffet, too. We got <laughs> oh, yeah. table the Chinese people right love me. here. You want Sherry? She's the best one no, we got, Sherry. we charge you double. <laughs> bang, 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 you double. know we charge you double. Hey, Why you for an hour? Bang, bang, it's Bang Bang Malenko. Bang Bang Malenko. Bang, it's Bang Bang Malenko. <laughs> I like how I threw that R in there. No L. Yeah, like, I had whenever, no, I had to. When I was know. explaining to her, like, if I were, Racist. like, I live two blocks away from the war zone. I call it a war zone because that's what I hear police <laughs> refer to it as. And that's why I was like, oh, shit. But yeah, Woodland Park Apartments here. Oh yeah, two blocks. That is 
bang, bang. Shots bang, bang all the time. You don't even hear news reports of the actual amount of shootings that happen here Uh because they happen so goddamn Uh frequently and stabbings and shit like that. And And that is a three block radius. Yeah. Dude, Rotherwood to. Uh, no, well, Sunburst, Sunburst Bullet, that's a middle. Yeah. Uh, Rotherwood to Lodge, mm-hmm. everything south of Riverside, man. You don't fuck around there. No. no. Don't go. What do you need to go there no. for? Hey, Ty, somebody yeah. called me the other exactly. night. Told me, you can come and give me a ride over. Where are you going over? Like, you you, you over better there. walk up to Pollock and Wambach and I'll pick you up. <laughs> I'll drop you off at the liquor locker. You right. walk from there. Right. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Walk your happy but ass. She, there. she thought at first she that's thought I was problem, making buddy. it up. She thought I was making. She was like, "That's not real." That, she, is. she goes, "That doesn't happen here." And I was like, "I'll take you there. You don't go. We'll to, lock the doors, and I will drive you through you it about go forty to fifty miles an hour. Where bodies are found days later on multiple occasions. And, 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 <laughs> no, it's not that they were found. It's just that that's when someone decided to call I and love, record it. I yeah. love that you just emphatically made your point with your hands. Yes, hey, that's that black woman the emoji. coming out in me. You know, you got to say it sometimes. You don't do it. Ah. Big mama's house. Serpent, 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 serpent. Hercules, Hercules. That's when you know a brother getting serious. He start clapping when he's talking. Y'all to motherfuckers, you not kind of like you in church. Way. You don't not go to the neighborhood. See, <laughs> and I pointed it out, and look what I got. Southside, <laughs> Evansville. What's up? But yeah, man? there are there are people who are completely oblivious to the world around them. I'm one of like those they, people, man. They they just, you think they, I'm oblivious? They, they, what? No, I think you're oblivious to people being oblivious. Like you, <laughs> because you have the perception and the perspective of acknowledging these things happen very fucking close to us. Yeah. You see it. You experience it. And mm-hmm. so your thought process of there's no way that someone couldn't believe this is happening. There's no way that they could be ignorant to it. Yes, yes, they're absolutely fucking is. They are blind to it. Ray Charles. This shit... No, Ray Charles can like, see well, this I mean, shit better than live, them. People that live here in this neighborhood or people that live other like, neighborhoods in the north side and, and like, like the, east there side you go. Newburgh. I mean, regardless okay. of where But no matter where well. you live in the this in this WB. greater metropolitan area, you hear you know what sides of town not to fuck around in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you, if somebody I'm going to tell you right now, somebody on the east, west, north side or that lives in Newburgh or whatever, when I tell them where I live, and they haven't oh. been here before. Do you know oh. how apprehensive they are to come here for the oh. first time? Because when whenever I say I live, you know, I live near Pollock and Weinbach, and they're like, oh. they're like, where's oh. that? And I'm like, Southside, and they're like, oh, oh, oh Southside, um, oh, is it safe? You know how many times I've been asked, is it safe to yeah. come to my place? I live on the South Side, man. I get just that as all long, time. yeah, just, just as long as you get here before eight o'clock in the summertime, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For, as long as you get inside before the street lights come on, right? I was uh, make sure you take the rebel flag out the front of your car before oh, you come yeah. down. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're gonna want to take that stupid little license plate off. Off the yeah, yeah take that. Yeah. You take might, that sticker fact, down don't off even the drive your car yeah, off the yeah. bed. You just walk. You just walk. <laughs> Take the door, take the door off the pickup there. Yeah, don't don't let them know you drive a Maserati. Yeah, put a hoodie on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like uh, the dudes that go and get the cars at uh, oh, what's the motor place on Green River Road that has like the Lamborghinis and all that? Oh, Lux Lux Motors. Yeah, they're not driving down here. Nah, <laughs> why are you driving a Lambo in Evansville, motherfucker? <laughs> right. The fuck you doing? You gonna uh, stop every thirty seconds? Yeah, yeah. There ain't, you ain't nowhere for you to run that bitch. You got one gear. That would the whole that's city. like that's, that's like the it. motherfuckers that live in like New York and L. A. and they drive Lamborghinis and Ferraris, and I'm like, they the drive fuck it around you doing? The outside Why? Outside. So you yeah. wait, drive it around the outside. So you wait till two a.m. to take oh, your four, car out. Four ninety five. <laughs> they're out there on the four ninety five. I sixty nine. Yeah, they're going to like twenty minutes. They're out in Robinwood, New Jersey. Right, exactly. But you see them in town though, and you're like. Well, that was dumb. Yeah, you could have Ubered and saved yourself the gas money and the parking fu- and the parking money. and the two hundred thousand dollars for that car. But it ain't. yeah, when some jealous dick walking by that drives a Mazda walks by and sees your Lamborghini, shit. goes fuck this guy. Just fucking like I just lost my job. ecosystem. Fuck this guy about to go into Starbucks. Fuck this guy. Oblivious. Right? Yeah, that that those kind of people. Completely oblivious. He ain't oblivious to shit. 
Who? The Maserati driving motherfucker in Manhattan. Oh, I bet he is. Oh, <laughs> 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 Maserati. He's oblivious to everything. Matthew. Everything that got less than $8 million he, in his hey, pocket. Look, <laughs> if he lives in Manhattan, exactly. if he lives in Manhattan, chances are he rarely leaves Manhattan. Mm-hmm. So guess what his life is? Manhattan. Sunshine and fucking rainbows. Because Manhattan is a prime fucking place to live. He ain't going to Bronx. Beautiful. Yeah. Hell no, he ain't going to the Bronx. He ain't going to Brooklyn. Especially fucking uh, uh, Red Hood, Sales Kitchen. I got to see the yeah. none of that right shit. here. Do what? And Amazon delivers same day. CVS and Amazon? Yeah, dude, Manhattan has the fucking drone drops for their shit. Really? Like, yeah, dude. You make an order from Amazon, you're Same likely day. to get it within two to four hours. Same dropped day. at your door. I want some wow. hammers. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Segura made a, had a bit about <laughs> He's it. He's great. He's like, I want some carrots. I want some hammers. Doop 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 doop. <laughs> Internet, I can get it. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah. This is how I didn't know they had it out there. See, I'm a boobies, evidently. I didn't realize stuff like that was going on. I'm just yeah. now finding out that over there on the uh, in California, they're using automatic vehicles for transports. Yep. Yeah. Trucks. Yeah. yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that. Fucking I realize science, that was a real man. thing. It's the future. It's yeah. crazy, oblivious. I can't wait to do that. Start See? riding people around. Now, one thing. Hey, you know, one thing I do like that I think could be implemented. <laughs> that was gonna say biscuits and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna you know, kick your veterinarian ass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Fucking dick bag day. Dick bag day. Do squirt day. <laughs> anyway, so you know, you remember in the old uh, Judge Dredd movie uh-huh. how all of the guns uh, were the biometric. Gun. And Taco Bell like rules. Ju- you had to be that judge yeah. for that gun to pick, or yeah, to pick it up and wield it. Okay. We have the biometrics to yeah. make things like that happen. Yeah, we sure do, we, we, out dude, like I, we have thumb scanning for the phones now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is cheap as my, fuck to do now. Like in the 80s, yeah, that would have been expensive as fuck. This is 2018. You make that shit for 27 cents in China and yeah. charge 50 bucks for it here. Yeah, You could literally yeah. make that a mechanism awesome. for every firearm and make make that a legal mandate. Mm-hmm. Yep, if, if you, you own any firearm, you have yeah. to bring or, it in. And, and Or voice. Voice activated. No, voice activated. no, no. That could be. Uh-uh. That's, they can't, I mean, mean, look, that it's not perfected. perfected. That yeah. could be what? What do you mean? It's look, not perfected. Talk to text. Here's what me? I can record your voice on my phone and play that shit for your gun and make uh-huh. that shit fire. Try. Try. Uh, try unlocking somebody's phone that way. I have your voice digitally mastered, recorded in uh-huh. so many files on my computer. You won't be able to unlock my. Phone. And, uh, you wouldn't be able to unlock my phone with that. Playing right. it through a speaker, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Voice technology. I want to see you play thing. it through a proper speaker. Oh. No. I bet I play it through this. Uh-huh. That bitch will unlock. Uh-huh. Like, do you, you got your phone on you now? Uh-huh. Is, is it voice activated? It's Yeah, I got OK Google on it. All right, can you uh, activate it? What? Activate it. Activate my phone? Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Let me hold your phone, though. No. No, I mean, like, you activate it. I'm over here so we can see if it works through the speaker. OK Google. Well, OK. Hey, there you go. Hold on. What if I manage to get your gun and you yell something at me? Uh huh. You're fucked. If I don't, you know, I'm going to yell the password to unlock my gun whenever you. Okay, have. now you're saying yeah, it, now you're saying it's password. password. You were just saying voice activated. Yeah. yeah, that's a whole that's different, a different fucking thing. No, now, here's pa- here's a better <laughs> way. No, look, hold on. Chatting. I'm sorry. But I that, didn't, look, I didn't finish hold on. Need to say so hold on. That shit character. could be circumvented. Now I'm going to tell you how biometric is a safer way. Some people, if you use the thumbprint only, that's not good. Because I can cut your goddamn thumb off and put it under my thumb around the goddamn grip. But what if the entire grip is biometric and not only does it have to match your hand fingerprints, but it has to have the regulated, like your, basically... It, your body it, it, temperature. Yeah. yeah. It, it has to, like... That's there are variances between the four of us sitting here on what our heart rate's going to be, blah, blah, blah. And just different patterns that happen with electrical synapses through our bodies, like electrical charges through our bodies. The four of us are not going to be the same. Seven no. and a half billion people are not going to be the uh, same. I got rhythm. So, don't, so. When, but that's the could, same thing with your voice, <laughs> though. It's just it, because your voice is your voice has more individual markings than your fingerprints do. Oh yeah. The, the technology that's out there right now has it. 
it's so good. That's yeah. It's but it can, it, it's still Man. breakable though. That's breakable. Yeah. Okay. It. <laughs> Darn that! But don't look away. Look Hold on. Eyes. You want to know why it's breakable? I, I guarantee you, Edward Snowden could would look at you and be like, Ha-ha! "I could do that in five seconds." All right then. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. I, I don't. Know. I mean, I don't know enough, man. I Edward am not Edward smart Snowden's the dude that enough. alerted everyone that the CIA and NSA, even when your phone is turned off, turned off, they can access the camera and the microphone. Yeah. They can access it, turn it on, find uh-huh. out what you're doing, what you're saying. Uh, all they're gonna see is me beating dick. That's what they're gonna see. <laughs> that's all. Boy. That's all Nubsy Slow's file is. That's just him is. jerking off. And they're just watching that shit, Dina, all day, just <laughs> yelling her name. I bet. I bet the master file is called Saint Peter. <laughs> <laughs> just, and just, just millions and millions and millions and millions, millions of hours of dudes just stroking their dicks, just. Going to town, <laughs> just all day. Just oh, what they're watching. We they know everything, everything. about us. They know everything about us. So I'm just oh like, yeah, fuck it. And fuck it. Uh, aside, yeah. aside yeah. from activating the camera and the microphone, even when your phone is off and when your location is off, they can still activate the GPS in your phone and find yeah. out where you're at. They don't wow. fuck. Okay, yeah. That's, Try to okay. Get away. That's what I'm saying. Ball sense of security. That's why you don't need a fucking AR-15. Because if they want that ass, they're gonna get that ass. They're gonna get you. And there ain't no fucking thing about an AR-15 or any kind of weapon that's just like that <laughs> at all. Yeah, it's gonna know, fucking but... <laughs> protect you from the fucking government. They'll get you. They'll turn your phone on and be like, "All right, so he's upstairs in the closet, hunkered down." <laughs> okay, well, the, but right, you're Kelly. missing the point yeah. of that though. Once they get enough people, the majority of people are going to go hunting. Uh-huh. And you can't take out 110 million people. I don't give a fuck what you think you're doing. Yep. You, they, it ain't happening. They already got Dude, they couldn't, divided. They couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't fit, right? And that's just it. You can't that's even a, get. You can't even agree with your, your lady on where to eat. Oh, man. How are we going to get them you know to why? raise up against well, the and How are we going to get 110 million people to raise up against the still, yeah. You're still focusing on a comfortable fucking society that has the... we Look, do you understand that we have the privilege of racism? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Stop. Stop. Think about what I just is said. That what it is, a privilege? No, listen. Listen privilege. to me. Listen to what I just said. We have the privilege of racism. That Maybe is a us. that's a huge concern for us. That's a concern for seven and a half billion people mm-hmm. on a planet. Racism. You know what that tells me? Shit ain't that goddamn bad yet. It tells me it's the when whole world's fucking petty. When you have when you have something <laughs> when you have something so minor as the melanin <laughs> of a person's skin that can divide people. You tan better Things than me. haven't gotten exactly. bad. Things haven't gotten bad enough yet. It tells me this this whole world is fucking petty. Now it's like, uh, you know, you look at look at a movie like Independence Day. If something like that were to happen, you will see seven and a half billion people realize, oh goddamn, this is our survival, not mine, not mm-hmm. yours, our survival. This is. This could be our extinction. You're going to see seven and a half billion people goddamn work together yeah. to figure some shit out. You know what we do? What? I got an idea. What? Everybody at the exact same time, the exact same day, everybody that's an adult does psilocybin mushrooms. And we all realize the connection at the same time. That's dangerous. At the same time, we all realize the connection. The problem is you're going to have, statistically, you're going to have some people to hit some bad trips. Yeah. Uh, And they're going to have guns on them and they're going to go. You got to think good thoughts. After we get rid of all the AR-15. You got to have good thoughts. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to get rid of all the AR-15. You slid that in there real quick. I don't get rid of all the (laughs) AR-15. It's never going to happen. I'm just kidding. I know. Have you seen role models? (laughs) (laughs) But No. no, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they could take out. They can take out a couple people here and there. Sure they can. The problem is when too many people... Yeah, Boo Boo agrees. Said, yeah. <laughs> the pro- <laughs> My cat's out there throwing his two cents in too. The problem is when too many people start disappearing or getting killed and shit really starts going sideways for everyone as a whole, at least in the, in, in the U.S., 
110 million armed motherfuckers go hunting for politicians and government officials and anyone wearing a uniform or a badge. I guarantee, first of all, half the people wearing the uniform are going to drop that shit real quick because now their family's involved. You got family and loved ones. What? I was just thinking about like what you're saying. It's truth. It's truth. Like what the Iron Sheik did whenever he came over the, the in his in his documentary, the stuff that was happening in, in Iran. Oh, it, yeah. Before it became when they a had dictatorship. To flee. Yeah. On its way to that, he was an Olympic level wrestler, so he was up. That was one of the sports that our, Iran was known for. Yeah. So being one of the best in the country at that's kind of like being best in the world. Derek Jeter. It's it's mm-hmm. you are a celebrity in that fucking country, and he was there, and he was there with the guy who was the, uh, who was the just god of wrestling in Iran. He was the best Iranian wrestler. He had won at several gold medals at, at the Olympics, and and then he ended up getting killed, and that was when Iron Sheik came over to the United States and became a professional wrestler. I thought like he was right from Detroit, that. huh? The Iron Sheik was from Detroit. No, no, no. He's he's, he's from from Ar- Iran. He is? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh shit! I thought he was from Detroit. Mm-mm. That may be where he lived. And he but might have lived why would you live in Detroit? No, <laughs> well, you got to realize when he moved here, seventies and eighties, Detroit was fucking awesome. Yeah, it was uh, popping still. Yeah, yeah. Motown to air. It didn't. Oh, okay. Detroit didn't start going to shit till like late nineties. Yeah, until after when Soul Train got taken off the air. So they, all Soul Train is the reason why Detroit went down. Yep, at that and Chrysler. <laughs> well, with, with Chrysler more, sucks. We'll blame it more on Soul Train though. Yep. Where soul bring Soul Train back. Train. Bring Soul Train back. Bring train. Detroit back. Bring the Soul Train back. Hashtag save Detroit. They used to come on after USWA wrestling. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I used to watch that shit every Saturday. Every Saturday. <laughs> I'm going to work you out to the Soul <laughs> See, that was the thing, too. Like, okay, <laughs> like, when I was a little kid, when I was a little kid, when I was a little kid, I grew up in Chandler, like up uh, until middle school. I was in Chandler. We didn't have black people in Chandler. I know. But, but. I only I had like five houses. No, but I don't we seen them on TV though. Hold on, look, that's real. <laughs> Hold on. Good times. Every once in a while, every once in a while, we go to the Dynamite. gas station. I see one. Hold on, not I, in Chandler. No, <laughs> we stop in town in Evansville. I had Soul Train. I had the Cosby Show. I had Good Times. I had Why all. Why does everybody the, look so the tired? The Jeffersons. <laughs> I had the I Jeffersons, and dude, even hey, on the Cosby Show. As uh, as a little kid. As a, that's funny. Good job. Nice, nice job. Uh, even as a little kid, when I watched George Jefferson, I was just like, "Man, why does he hate white people so much?" Because guess what? I was oblivious See? to how that shit really worked. Even when up I until watched, high school, I was just like, I was, "Racism? What's, what's that?" that? Bun- like Bunky Bunker, uh, Archie Bunker, Archie Bunker, all in the family. All in the family. I was wondering you know, why that's the where hell George, he hate black on, people so hold on. much. But what's so funny is that's where George Jefferson came from. Yeah, I know. That's how yeah, that show so started. Sorry, yeah. And what's funny is, was as much as they hated each other, yeah. they were probably best friends. Yeah, they was exactly alike. Yeah. They you were know. the same person, yeah. just different it's, levels yeah. of melanin in their skin. Yeah. That was all it was. Exactly like. I, I think that was George Jefferson had the coolest walk of anybody that has ever existed. That, that, that fucking arm uh, swing. He... he He's been mimicking that for the last yeah. 50 years. Vince is the white George Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> the gorilla swing that he does. Yeah. Ah, oh, fucking great, but yeah, man, I was a little kid. So that, I mean, I guess that's how it happens. Fucking because wheezy, baby. Yeah. Evansville, Evansville wasn't nothing but a 15, 20 minute drive. Mm-hmm. But I didn't have exposure to it. But yeah. now, though, now here's the difference, though, of me growing up in the eighties and nineties. Now we got so, social media. Dude. Shit's all over, Dude. everywhere in your news feed. I'm telling you, I was just thinking about this the other day when I was a kid. There was this little convenience store. We called it literally the little store. And it had an arcade. Dude, that's what we called it. It was. It didn't matter what what they put on the building. The Lakeshore Stop and Shop, I think, is what it was. And it was just right at the edge of the neighborhood. And that was the. And it had a pool table in it, and it had an arcade arcade machine. And I could tell you, that was like the highlight. And it was just a fucking little place that was. And and I I used to look forward to that place. For you, it was the world. It was such a big deal to go there. Right. And it was a fu- I mean, And now you, know, you now if you were to see a, a gas station, gas station, like, yeah. station with a pool table in it. If you were to see a gas station even, like that now, you'd be like, pump. it was just like, it was a convenience uh, store. Uh, it was the stop and shop. What are we talking about? Yeah, exactly. 
just it's a crazy. Gas, it was a gas station that was no longer a gas station. It was a convenience store. It had what a couple video games it in it. It was a video game machine and, and a, a pool, pool table. table. So fucking, y'all hung was, out there. Uh, yeah, was it one of those dad, like ten games in one cabinet? I would like my. It was some place that my dad would take me. Was this in Arkansas? Yeah. yeah. West when Memphis. Yeah. When I was a kid. Dude, I remember places like that. Okay, I remember when Mister Gaddy's big deal. when Mister yeah. Gaddy's only existed in Boonville. And Mr. Gaddy's, and Is there was Gattie there Town? was another pizza. Oh, well, now it's Gaddy Town. That's a fucking yeah, huge, huge goddamn yeah. deal. Goddamn, dude. When I went, when I was a kid, Mr. Gaddy's literally had three or four video games, and there were always fifteen kids in there waiting to goddamn play, and there would always be three or four kids that were really good at the goddamn games and never goddamn died. Is that, oh, is that what the movie I Pistols guess is based I was off of? A, a <laughs> little lot suburban lines cause I've and had, if you got to go to showbiz, showbiz pizza was down oh the my, from my house, god bro. oh see yeah so I if you that got to go to show- after, that's what i did holy shit. see and for you showbiz was nothing right like that was, that was just life know. that you was know a party life something to me because they ain't getting nothing close to it ever again no oh, yeah. never again no not like that dave's and busters is the closest thing i've seen to it we don't even got yeah. that shit here uh, no. not yet i hope it comes they well, now, hey, we, we got high score. Here? We got high score. No, What's we had a... Uh, high score saloon? That's the... Uh, it's downtown Clint, on Main Street. Yeah, man. It's, yeah. it's all the old arcade cabinets. It got uh, pinball machines, really beer. Never, never, yeah, no. Mortal Kombat. No, they got yeah, everything he, in there. Yeah. Hot pretzels. That's all you had to say. Hot uh, pretzels. Yeah. Uh, Clint's frozen cool. pizzas. They serve yeah. pro- frozen pizzas. Clint, the frozen pizza. One of the uh, one of the two owners. Uh, Clint, Clint Edwards, right? <laughs> Clint Something Edwards. like that. Yeah, Clint Hoskins. Good old Scotty. Scotty Clint Hoskins, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, he super super cool guy. Awesome. Man. They, was awesome. used to be. Yep, they give a lot yeah, back, I, and they do. And... They they just had a uh, on yeah, uh, last night or Friday night. They did a Mario Kart tournament. Oh, yeah, man, wow. that's, that's cool. Awesome. Fuck. They do yeah. stuff for charity. They work with a lot a lot with Big Brother. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and Casa. Yeah, yep. that's cool. Yeah, they're good. They're good dudes. Yeah, they check that out. They're decent people. Uh, but yeah, man. Like so, for you, Showbiz Pizza. I mean, when I say it wasn't nothing, nothing. to you, yeah, that was, yeah, everyday, was life. everyday life. For yeah. me, Showbiz Pizza was the gods. Was birthday. The gods, have, yeah. yeah, the gods have smiled on me. That was it anal sex. That's what birthday. that was. Dude, I, like, okay, I used to go to Showbiz. That's a Tuesday. For every me. every every other Friday is when it would happen for me. When my dad and my stepmom would come to pick me up mm. for the weekend, we would go to Showbiz, and then sometimes we'd go play putt putt. Or go to like Adventureland Golf, like right when it first Black opened. Black folks don't play putt Huh? We don't play putt putt. <laughs> Black folks play putt putt. <laughs> Have you ever seen? You I got the hookup. Never a black person in any family out there. In the you I white. see black people. In the <laughs> you and white. when you see a black person, there's a white girl sitting next to him. Are you white? Because uh, she's driving. Then you've been Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> if you white, you've been Affleck. <laughs> we don't do the putt putt. <laughs> Whatever reindeer games, I'm not Ben Affleck. <laughs> Are you white? If you white, then you've been athletic. Oh, my God, that's funny. (laughs) Good point. I forgot all about that. (laughs) Dude, Role Models is such a great (laughs) fucking movie. Silly. I love that movie. That little black kid's mom was hot as fuck. Oh, yeah, she was. Yes, she was. <laughs> oh, he God. was bad than a motherfucker. <laughs> I love but that. But you know what? It's <laughs> about your dick. <laughs> Don't touch me there. His dick is the gun. <laughs> Love God. No, you can't touch my junk. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> we'll hey, he started to touch, touch my hang low. Hang low. I got my own hang low. <laughs> I love when it goes, this, is, when she's doing it, she goes, this is an appropriate hug. And turns him around, hugs him from behind. This is not. He goes, obviously, we're not supposed to butt fuck these kids. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, the movie is so good. I'm watching uh, that. Jane video. Lynch is the best. Yeah, sure. so awesome. That fucking. <laughs> yeah, but she comes out from behind the TV why dancing. Why, why are you doing that, like, a, away from the camera? No, I don't give a fuck these motherfuckers see me. You should have. <laughs> yeah, you you should really, you, you got really offensive over there. Oh, you you got, am I missing something? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like Nubsy is hostile toward the crowd. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like, give a fuck with these motherfuckers see me. I don't like avocados people, are they not like me. That's how it goes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck avocados are cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, why are you pointing at me? Like, I'm going to point at you if I want to point at you. Are you making a point? I'm making a ma- <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So Literally. You're making a point. Making a point. Pointing at you, making a point about pointing at them and pointing at me and then pointing back at you and I'm pointing at Bulldog now. Then Torin gets pointed at and motherfuckers get pointed all day. Check marks. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. That made complete sense. What's up, Philip? <laughs> Point at that. <laughs> He's trying to... Well, no, I just let him do his bit. Yeah. <laughs> Get it out. I want to be know. cool. Dirt Nap's cool. I want to be cool, so I just follow Dirt Nap. I understand. Uh, why can't I be a cool guy? You're not He's, cool yet. Not I don't know either. what uh, society I live in, but who... who who, who made him cool? Who made who cool? <laughs> I made him cool. Oh, okay. All See, right. so all that's right. no help at all. None. No <laughs> help. Uh, yeah. That's like him it's giving okay. you a black card. It ain't going to do nothing for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a G-Pass. Wait, wait. A black card. What is that? It's like, oh, man. I wish I had one with me. Is that is that something that you pull out when you're trying to keep your job? No, it's the no. pass. No, no, the black no, card no, is the no. pass for your white friend. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, so you can go over there, you like, go you know, over there to, to Woodland Park and get you something to eat and, right. or chill right. with some people. That's oh, like, be that's like when I nonchalantly say that? nigga, ain't yeah, nobody getting upset when I say nigga. I am. Because you're white. Yeah. And that don't even make sense. It's because, yeah. it's because have you ever how, why are you offended? Hold on. Have you ever noticed that it's the majority of white people that get offended? Yeah. The social justice. You know why? Shit? You know why? Because that word only means one thing to them. The racist yeah. people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's I'm racist. That's, that's exactly I what I said. I'm like, oh my God. I, was like, I didn't say you're if racist. You get a, he's racist. racist. Don't worry if you get racist. offended by that word, no, it only has I get one connotation to you. I get offended by... I'm just kidding. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you see this? You see this? Oh. This at any given moment can be a nigga. Yeah. I'll be like, hold on, I gotta grab this nigga. Yeah. I do that yeah. shit, man. When I'm playing video games, my like uncle Ruckus. I'm like, this nigga. I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be on that. Uh, yeah. Grand Theft Auto. I'll <laughs> be here, nine year old white boys. I know you're a nine year old white boy over there. Oh, nigga, come over and scoop me up, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey, nigga. Hey, I was like, hey, dude, man, dude, dude. Right, so, dude. Hold on. See, Can dude, we just man, point dude. out the? He just said, "Dude, man, dude, dude, man, dude." And <laughs> I'm trying to help him be white again. <laughs> Roll reversal, dude, dude, man, man, dude, <laughs> man, chill, dude, uh, chill, dude. dude. You gotta dude. slow your roll, man. <laughs> Pump. You yell at your mom or something. Pump man. the brakes, Pump, kid. Pump the brakes, Trevor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go kiss our daddy or something. Shut up, right? Chad. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Oh my God, Bartholomew! I heard some yeah. little boy over there practicing on how to oh, put yeah. the uh, A on the end and take the R off. He said, "Come on, nigga! I mean, nigga!" Uh, drew it out. The best. Hold on. Drew it out. Yeah, he's practicing. The best. The best example of that. Have any of you guys ever seen the movie Pool Hall Junkies? Uh-uh. Uh, I've heard. Have of you seen it? it? Uh-uh. Oh, dude, I heard of it. it is great. This dude, he's a pool shark, white boy, whatever. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the actor who's doing this exchange. Matt really. Dillon. No. <laughs> Close. Uh, anyway. Ralph Macchio. Anyway, no. <laughs> this, he, like this dude, the the white dude, the pool player. Ha, his name's Johnny. He's got See? a backer who like puts up money for his games and stuff. Well, they're in a black pool hall, mm-hmm. and uh, the scene starts with him going. He goes. So, because you and I have friends, we're niggers? He goes, that makes us niggers? And he goes, nigga, nigga. <laughs> and he's like, he goes, like, my nigga Charles there. And then the dude goes, oh, my nigger Charles. And Charles goes, <laughs> his eyes get real big. And he goes, no, you can't say that. First of all, you don't say it right. And second of all, you don't know Charles like that. And then he goes, he goes, but he goes, so what, he goes, what the fuck are you trying to say? He goes, you my nigga. That means, he goes, that means we down. He goes, well, fuck yeah, you're down. You're down about $300 right now. He goes, trying to explain something to your white ass. Is just, but anyway, what they're doing is they're setting up the backer. Like it's a whole thing. And whenever they get done, they like, he screws his backer over and sets him up because the dude was fucking him over. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he purposely throws the game that the guy didn't have the money to cover. And he goes, uh, he goes, you missed the signs, Joe. He's like, you should have been paying attention. He goes, you think I'm going to let some white boy come up into my pool hall, call me all kinds of niggers if he ain't trying to tell me something? And he goes, and he goes, there's one other thing you missed out on, Joe. Me and Johnny, bam, and they slap hands and snap. They go, we niggers. (laughs) And the dude grabs his pool cue and leaves, and they fuck up his backer. Oh, and I was just like, that is the greatest example yeah. of that whole thing. I love yeah. it when he goes, "Oh, my nigger Charles," and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> just the, "You got to see the look." I, I see that face. movie. Wasn't that Chris Rock? 
No. It wasn't Chris uh-uh. Rock? No, man. No. Uh-huh. Not Chris Rock, but uh, the other Chris. Smokey. No, 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 no. It's not, oh, it's yeah. not a comedian dude. Uh-huh. Like, he's... He's been in a ton of movies. I just I, I don't know his name. He he he's kind of similar. Christopher Walken. Yeah, Christopher Walken's okay, in there it. There you go, Dark Nap. Okay. Mars Callahan, Rod Steger, Michael Rosenbaum, Rick Schroeder, Allison Eastwood. Nope, nobody we know. Well, kick click Michael on the Michael Rosenbaum. Uh, my, yeah, what I know Mikey. Michael, Mikey's Michael, from yeah. Newburgh. Yeah, <laughs> he's on the dude from like I mean, Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor from person. Smallville. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Click on the uh, all cast. Back in the day. You'll see the black dude. More. Oh, shit. What'd you hit? Glenn Plummer. Chico. Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. He played uh, in uh, Colors. Yep. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah Chico. Yeah, that's him. Yep. Good yeah. job, Chico. Colors. Glenn Plummer. The, 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 yeah. Colors. But anyway... That movie's funny as fuck. You ever seen Colors? <clears throat> no. Oh my I god. I'm Mexican and I see Colors. Right? I don't watch That's TV. Like the man, I'm, only I'm half Norse Mexican. Celtic I'm and I've seen Colors. I'm only half Mexican. <laughs> man, that is the root of all about everybody with dark skin. That's yeah. where it started. The movies with thugs and shit started. The Tellers? Where it started. In Living Colors? No, oh, that wasn't god. Living Colors. I love Jim Carrey in that show. <laughs> Why you got met the only white guy on that show? What about <laughs> Keenan? Because he what didn't see Sean? anybody else. You just saw the white guy. I, what about... You, you I don't see just, color. Wasn't there just... Literally. Like, like one you're or invisible two, to me. One or two other guys that was on that show and they all just looked alike and did the same thing? They're no, all no, brothers and sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Foxx. Oh, yeah. That Goddamn that, that Wayans was, kids. There was Wayans one kids. kid. There was that one white girl. <laughs> yeah. J-Lo was on there. black guy. Fly girl. That one black guy. That's why I had so many kids because I want to be like Tommy. Tommy Davidson. The Tommy Davidson. Tommy Davidson was on there. How many kids you got to get? You got like 11. God. David Allen Greer and then Sean and Marlon and yeah. Damien Keenan Damon it, it, Damon it's, all, it's not it's Damien Damon, Damon Wayans is the one that he's the funniest at all of yeah. them he's, he's the, the one that had like the, the skyrocket yeah, yeah. yeah homie the clown and all that shit I homie mean Marlon homie Marlin, cheese where a kid can be a kid I unless they get Marlin on my damn nerves had a longer career he was he he's still stayed longer. oh they're still going Marlon and Keenan Damon is still going yeah they have been doing and his son is still going Huh? Lipa, Lipa Wait, was he? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's Mar- Mar- really good. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, that's, that's, that? that's Damon that's Wayans a, Jr. No, yeah, no, no that ain't that's Damon Wayans. Damon Wayans on it? Yeah, oh, yeah. he's, he's Murtaugh. He's, he's back. He yeah. plays the Dana yeah. Liberal. Yeah, he's that good. Is okay. That show is amazing. Yep. Yeah. The first scene yeah. of that. When that dude, when he walks into the bank, when Riggs goes into the bank, he goes, I got pizza. And they're like, Love that show, man. Man, when he pulled that dude's gun right to his forehead, he goes, don't miss. Yep. And the guy's standing there hesitating, and all of a sudden, Riggs just gets pissed, starts fucking everybody up, Mm -hmm. and then blows up the goddamn bank. (laughs) They they, they played good to the movie roles. They played great to the movie roles. I I love that. You know what was really good? White girls. That was a good movie. No, I'm just kidding. White chicks. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Ugh, I mean, I white girls kidding. are really good, but no, white yeah. chicks is a dumb movie. I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. It's awful. I watch white girls. And Look, I like while we're on this topic, white boy. I had to explain Uh-oh. to somebody the other day <clears throat> why Black Panther is such a big deal. Isn't it because it's the exact same thing, the black version of KKK? No, no, no. no, no, no. The, the movie, movie. Oh, Black Panther, that oh. shit's been around longer than oh. the Black Panther Party. The comic character. Oh, the yeah, movie sorry, I ruined yeah. Look, black I had Panther to explain. Party. <laughs> Sorry, I had a fight. In the I had to go get, get my boy. boy. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I had to explain this to someone because they were like, "I don't understand why black people are all showing out about this movie." So what? But I was like, "Hold up, you know, you're not getting it. Yeah, this isn't just the first blockbuster movie that has an all black cast minus one white villain." I was like, "This, the entire production crew, the staff, Never the catering." It was black right. folks, and not only that. The, and then I did. I did have to get my jab in. I did have to get my jab in. And I was like, "Can you imagine the amount of fried chicken that catering had to supply <laughs> on a daily basis?" It was an genocide. Africa. It was watermelon. They needed to cool off. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking African son <laughs> melted kicking. my shit. You know they were black Americans. <laughs> it wasn't African, so you know there's pepper out there. <laughs> 
They were like, this is bullshit. <laughs> hey, nigga. If I lived here, I would find my own boat and get the fuck out. Africans over the madam. Why y'all bring them nigga hell? Hey, that's, hold on. the last. No. Hold on. I'll get to that in a second. I'm leaving it. Uh, I, had, it. Yeah, I had to. Uh, but I had to explain that. And whenever he realized that, he was shit. like, he was like, oh, yeah. oh shit. Okay. Because everybody wants to point at like Blade being yeah. the first. I was like, yeah. He was the only black dude in the movie aside from the half black chick, the, the that, nurse that right, helped him. That, that he slept Chris with. Christopherson <laughs> was, hey, Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson's blacker than he's Wesley Snipes. Yeah. And he's gangster. Uh, no, Wesley I haven't seen Snipes. that. No, I haven't seen the I haven't seen that either. I haven't seen Wesley that. Wesley Snipes is pretty black. But, but, but I mean, and then, uh, it's, I saw it's the people, first superhero yeah. movie that has that a black, black superhero that's he's just really not corny dark. and he's, stupid. He's, right. He's tan. It's not just. Blank man. He's tan. Blank man is a shit. Thank you. It is. But it ain't a role model. No, I want to right? be. Right. Yeah. Uh, but, but David Allen Greer is in that one too. Yep. I met That's him in kick. Iraq. Who? David Allen Greer. He was awesome. I'm sure he was. He was a nice man. guy. That's a good one. But. As I yeah, told him I then, loved him in Blank Man. <laughs> I did. I swear to God. That's why Major I, like, Pain. I loved you. I loved Major you Pain is, is Damon Wayans' best fucking movie ever. Ever. That was a that, was, that was movie's great, period. Senor, surely you do, you do not think you can kill all of us. Nope. But I can clean your clean your colon out quicker than one of them burritos with extra guacamole sauce. Ooh, <laughs> and he gets a whole fucking platoon. To surrender. I love that movie. It's so great. Over and over again. The movie is great. That fucking scene where he farts and the kid passes out is my favorite scene ever. <laughs> Damn, gee, he nearly put you in a coma after he ate the cupcake. <laughs> I love yes. it. Well, the kid had a splitter. He said, "Let me see that." He, you let want me, me show you a little finger. trick to take your <laughs> mind off of that? No! <laughs> you might feel a little pressure. Oh, man. Oh, oh but then, uh... Check it. Check it. And then he, he got a flash. He had a flashback in the middle of it. Yeah, that guy needs a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Major Payne just exterminated that bad man in the closet with extreme prejudice. And if he's still in there, he ain't happy. <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, just another example. Of that would why be Dirt Nap Dave if he was like a school teacher or some shit. Just, just fuck all. I just have a, I'd have a, like a, a switch that I slap my hand with all the time. What? I'd fucking freak him the out. The old pointer. Smack my oh. hand like and that's how it's going. Well, like a yardstick. My neighborhood, we call you the cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Saltine much? Uh, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I'm not gonna say on the air what we called you. <laughs> I mean he is from West Memphis, Arkansas, so <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll call you a friend uh, today though. <laughs> See, this goes back to the last time you were here, and even when, when I've had Quan Lynch on the show and stuff. Dude, there is a point and time and place for racism. Yeah, there is. And it also when it is good hearted, yeah. When it is good hearted yeah. and it is humor laced, yeah. like it's, it's there not is really a racism. Then it's stereotyping. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, exactly. Oh, it's just a joke. Yeah. Really yeah. That's, that's true. Comment. That's true. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, it's it's stereotyping. I like the fried chicken I, comment though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lowry's. Who got the Lowry's? <laughs> Pow! I know. Come on. I love Lowry's. Dude, when I made and when I made that Lowry's. when I made that joke when I made that joke about can you imagine the amount of fried chicken <laughs> the catering had to supply on a daily basis? The look on people's faces when I said it, I was like, people, I'm it's just, joking. No, it's you jokes. Just, it's real. Y'all gotta laugh at life. Who doesn't like hold fried up, chicken? Hold up. Like fried chicken. If, if fried chicken makes you black. Then I am the blackest of the black. Because if I, somebody says, where? let's go to Popeyes, I will get a hard on. You yeah. To listen to him. Oh, yeah. You hear the edge coming a, out. Yeah, right the, now. Southern, the southern. The southern. The blackness in. What do you say? <laughs> the southern nigga. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Here, if you talk. If black, somebody says, black. if somebody says, we're going to have a picnic black. and we're bringing fried chicken. Listen. I will make a point to be there. Yeah. But, I'm going. But black people don't bring fried chickens to picnics. No, they, they don't. They barbecue the fuck out of it, and I love that too. And you know what? You know what black uh, you know what black people taught me about barbecue? There's a bottle with a label that says "Sweet Baby Ray's" that is the greatest goddamn that thing that has ever existed. Ever Man, brothers, stop making their own when that came. Yes, out. <laughs> you don't have to make it anymore. Here's yeah, perfection give, in a yes. bottle. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Every restaurant on this now. planet, food is better with it. 
weekend <laughs> race. Well, I will say this. If you go to Bandanas, the different barbecue sauces that they mm-hmm. have, you just snark, like curled up your nose. You don't yeah, like I Bandanas? I feel um, the same way about He's a vegetarian now. <laughs> Veterinarian. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. My bad. I forgot. Yeah. Sorry. You got the hoodie and shit. My bad. <laughs> No, this one says Chuck Liddell. He got no. a hoodie with no sleeves. That's an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to be he never hot, wears when you want to be hot and cold at the <laughs> same <laughs> time. Well, I mean, he never wears I'm sleeves. Cool. I'm cool. Hold on, just a second. What's going on? Do you the rest time. of the white paint on continue your body? <laughs> oh, there's another sleeveless shirt oh. under the sleeve. So wait, shirt. wait, you was wearing a hoodie with no sleeves or a shirt with no sleeves? Well, yeah. He's double well, covered yeah. or double uncovered. Man. There you go. What's that? Is that like a, what's that, what's that, what's that logo? Uh, I don't know. It's just, I got it from Amazon. They were on sale. Okay. I got a red like one. You, I got a red one, a blue one, and a yellow like one. You do a commercial for some kind of prostate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Walter White. I got diabetes. Yeah, I'm Wal- Walter White. Yeah. I can't think of the Walter Brimley. That, that Wilford, would be Wilford, Wilford Brimley, but yeah. whatever. I was close. Not even in the same ballpark. I mean, there was a W and a W. Yeah. He named a fake person. Oh. He named a meth dealer <laughs> that had cancer. He named Brian in- Cranston instead of character. an overweight instead of an overweight dude with a mustache and a. <laughs> And a blood sugar problem. Yeah. It was a chemistry teacher with a meth problem. <laughs> I think everybody but, knows uh, Breaking cancer. Bad. I mean, he didn't really have a meth problem. He Mr. had a Heisenberg. money-making problem. That dude got paid. He got money. <laughs> oh, yeah. $1,500 a month for cancer research. He, he did it. All right. I think Gus was the coolest fucking character on that show. Gus Frank. What, what yeah, are y'all Gus talking Frank. about? Uh, Breaking uh, Bad. Oh, Breaking but, Bad. Oh, but the funny thing life. is, I love the meme. I love the meme <laughs> for Breaking Bad that shows him because only only black character in the show deals meth and runs a fried chicken store. Los Hermanos, Poyos. Or is it Poyos Hermanos? Is it the Chicken Brothers or the Brothers Chicken? It's the Chicken Brothers. Yeah. I think yeah, it's Hermanos Lo- Pollo. Los yeah. Because uh, Mexico, like the translation. I know yeah. you, you do the adjective second. Yeah, you explain the shit. Like the, the chicken brothers. That's river what of were, right? like river of blood be like. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like uh, like in uh, blood yeah, in blood out that movie. Rio the dude's Grande. nickname when he was boxing was uh, El Gallo Negro, the Black Rooster. Yeah. The Black Rooster. But obviously, cool. Negro would be so black, like and that's the last that word. That does sound it. like a. <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> the black cock. <laughs> the black rooster. It sounds like the biggest blackest <laughs> dick. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden cards. Cards against humanity, <laughs> man. All right. I got yoga. Yep. You got uh, yoga. It was a fun show. I like what? that. Dude, what? I swear when he comes in, two. This fucking flew by. Like it just yeah. That's what I was just looking at. I was like, like yeah, this that's two hours, right. man. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Y'all Good talk to each other, so y'all get bored with each other. I get that new person in there and it's God, like, oh, you have yeah, no idea I'm bored to tears every yeah, fucking right. weekend. <laughs> man. <laughs> what? I hung out with him before over an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <So> what? <laughs> You gotta take them in small doses. Yeah. That's why we don't really talk during the week. Yeah, I'm just, just like, God damn, no, yeah. I gotta spend two 15 hours. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes here. Fifteen minutes. I know that's how Dirt Nap feels too. He's like, man, I gotta spend two hours a week with these jackasses. I ain't trying to talk to them like, during the week. I like both of them. <laughs> I like you hear you hear that you hear that condescending bullshit. I like everybody in this room right now till your motherfucker started talking. <laughs> now that's usually that's usually about what that, does it for me too. <laughs> And that is the source of racism and prejudice and every other ism in the world. Everyone gets Colloquialism. along. Colloquialism. Everyone gets along Muslim. until somebody starts talking. Muslim. Muslim. Is that what you just said? Yeah, Muslim. Yeah. And as a black man, I refuse to speak upon that. There's Nubsy's word of the week. Muslim. Muslim. I just became you a Muslim. You be making up words every week. Bro. Yes. Oh, my God. You don't even know. Hey. What what's He's the name? To oh, don't don't know. What, no no. What's wait, the name no, of the no, symbols no. on the walls in the pyramid? Okay, markings. No, no, what are they called? Have the lips. Hieroglyphics. <laughs> <No>. Almost. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Hieroglyphics. 
It was like hieroglyphs. Hilo, I said it right, motherfucker. No, say it again. Hieroglyphs. Like Shut me, up, motherfucker. I know what? I can't pronounce Hilo things yeah. and shit, so I just stay out of it. That's, I, I that's what I try I to can't do. Say. I can't pronounce the tit tit. I can't pronounce hieroglyphics. 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 Statistics. Hieroglyphics. Oh, statistics. Aluminum. Statistics. It was like. Just tit sticks or something like tit I, I, I gotta say it slow so I can get it out. Like st- I have to say it slow to mimic him. Like I, I literally have to slow my brain and my mouth down. To fuck just a this up. Bit. Yes, I gotta fuck. I gotta like make my brain go wonky to fuck it up. I learned everything oh, I've oh. just learned. <laughs> my whole life is a lie. Oh, shit. All right, man. Well, I am the king of villains, Bulldog Malenko, along with Dirt Nap Dave. Yeah, and uh, Nubsy Drum Slow. Solo. Chill, boy, boy. <laughs> and uh, Torin, thanks for joining us That's again, man. That's not a problem. I had a good time. We'll, we'll have you back in here soon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, All right, right, this is... Anytime you want. This is the Bulldog Check us out. Podcast. Follow us on the mo- social media stuff. Are y'all fuckers Did you almost say follow us on the moon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, they need to. Well, that's where I'm at. Dirt Most Nap ties a kite right now, so... <laughs> dirt, dirt Nap took his SpaceX trip. <laughs> He's like, man, I'm higher than Rocket Elon man. Musk's Tesla. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, oh, yeah. My brain is heavy, Falcon heavy right now. BFR. BFR. That's what I said. Big Falcon rocket. Yeah. That's Dirt Nap's head. Says this guy. <laughs> God damn it. I don't fit in God nowhere. Damn. I don't fit in nowhere. <laughs> You got a big ass head. I'm going to hear somebody say it about somebody else. <laughs> well, I mean, Torn, you look like somebody took you look like somebody took a brown popsicle stick and stuck like a brown popsicle stick. Yeah, okay, because he, he brown. Because he's not really black. We can't call no, him black. Not, I'm not black. You heard him speak. I'm Carmel. You Carmel. <laughs> Carmel. Oh, Mocha. Mocha. No, Mocha's too bitter. He's lighter. Yeah, he's too bitter. bitter. I'm Carmel. Carmel. <laughs> But it looks like somebody stuck a magic eight ball on top of a popsicle stick. Like when you a look magic at magic eight ball, yeah. like a brown eight ball. Yeah, yeah. you know they like that black. Makes so much nope. sense. Every time I dab into that white girl's legs, shaking my head, I guess she's just looking, waiting for something to happen. No. <laughs> some chick comes look, up, some ugly gonna... girl, some ugly girl hits on him, like, "Hey, baby, you want to go out? You want to go out this weekend? <laughs> Outlook, not me." <laughs> No chance on earth. Shit. As many kids as you got. <laughs> Shit. I bet it don't take much to get you going. No, it's not in his You know, future. you think you think after his like head just three pops or up. four. Yes. You think like after like three or four, his dick would just be like, nope, you ain't doing it. Not another one. But you got, what, nine kids? Right? Eleven. 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 Eleven fucking kids. Yeah. He's had like, he's like, he's had had like three more do. since the last he's time I've he had here. I've had two vasectomies. <laughs> How many grandkids you got? I got 17 now. <laughs> God damn. God damn. That is a lot of babies. And I still look younger than everybody in this motherfucking that, room that right now. Real. So that's, fuck y'all. That Black don't shit. crack. That's why. <laughs> shit, I'm still shorter than y'all too. <laughs> One day whenever you become a full grown man. <laughs> Calm down, Carl hey, Anthony Perry I didn't even have a full grown hey, man. Yeah. They gave me a full grown penis, Shit. and that's all. I was ah, doing. there it is. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go, bud. There you go. That makes dirt that Tommy. What now? I'm Tommy. <laughs> I got a job. <laughs> I got a job. Yo, motherfuckers just call me Martin Lloyd. Ah, no, no, we called you Carl Anthony Payne Jr. His little friend. <laughs> <laughs> with the one with the sock. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cockroach. Nobody, nobody knows Cock- what Cockroach. Cockroach with a Cosby show. Yeah. Walking in your crib shit. like brother, man. Uh, brother yeah, I'm, man a, I'm about to go best. back home to Big Bertha, y'all. So fuck y'all, all right? <laughs> <That> <laughs> I'm about to go get Big Bertha. <laughs> She be putting it down. I be trying to get her up afterwards. Oh, big Bertha. That, that's oh, his yeah. girlfriend off of yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the big yeah. fat girl they never showed. You yeah. know Brother Man, but you know you don't know Big Bertha? I remember Brother Man. Brother he, always, man was, oh. he made the show. Yeah, he season. was the best, best he made the show. Oh, character. Shanane. Shanane. Oh. Was she was, she was great. Shanane. That was a mimic of another comedian who done it. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, Shawanda. 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 I'm ready to go. I rock your world. Shoot. 
Yeah. How'd that go? <laughs> Why'd you do that to the camera? <laughs> I don't do it to the camera. Do it to I? the camera. <laughs> don't do it to the microphone. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go. See now? But for everybody that hangs tough. <laughs> that stays in with us for all of the time. Right. <laughs> gets that. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. That ending right yes. there. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. This is the Bulldog Unchained Podcast. We'll be back next week. We're still recording? Oh, yeah, man. We've been going this whole time. <laughs> God damn. <laughs>